Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippy Tesla, and welcome to episode two of Biohazard for Sega Saturn. Load game. Ooh, did I back up my game? I forgot to back up my game yesterday, and Saturn memory is fickle, so uh, I did replace the battery uh, two weeks ago. So let's hope everything's still there. Come on. Let me check that, just a second. It's a very old console, so it's a wonder it still works. Just a moment. Let's see if that does it. Action replay. Okay, take two. It lived the entire... Nah, I don't need it. It didn't live the entire of yesterday's stream. Don't fuck with me now. I want you to work. Biohazard. Okay, it's loading now. I can hear it. I think I can. Yep, here we go. Whew, that scared me. The first time I couldn't hear the laser loading. Here we go. Back where we started. Oh, uh, left off. Uh, whatever the expression is. You have once again entered loading. The world of survival horror loading. Good luck. Exclamation point. Here we go. Oh my god, it's so smooth. <laughs> Again, it's so fucking smooth. Now I do owe my friend Sakuya, who might be or might not be here. I do owe him five minutes of knifing. Let's see. He'll, he'll drop by later. I hope he doesn't drop by when I'm fighting hun hunters, because I'm not gonna do that shit with hunters. <laughs> not not if I'm not David uh, David King. Wait, what are we doing? We gotta kill some spiders. Ugh, I wish I didn't load those acid rounds into the bazooka. Bazooka, bazooka, bazooka. You know what? Why not? Maybe it'll be easier to get the spiders with the bazooka and let's bring the shotgun just for good measure yeah pistol for the regular zombies which was already equipped uh, shotgun for when we run out of pistol and bazooka <laughs> grenade launcher for uh, for the tarantulas cause can't shoot these tarantulas with a pistol can't step on them Now one thing I didn't notice with the Saturn, yesterday when I finished the stream I was tidying up here and I didn't turn off the console for a while, I raided Slim, then I chatted with them about different Resident Evils and uh, I realized that the disc, because the Model 2 Saturn actually has a little window, you can peek and like see if the disc is spinning, it wasn't spinning, so it has sleep mode, something that PlayStation 1 and 2, like not even PlayStation 2 had. 
Oh. 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 There's more of you? Now what do I do? I don't think I'm hurting anything. Oh. Oop. Oh. He's dead, Jim. I love the new uh, sounds. Hey! Wait, hold on. Hold on, zombie, my friend. This oh. guy wants my booty. Oh. Ah! Okay, remember the timing. Good thing for a reload. Oh. Sir? He's dead now. Okay. I love the different zombie sounds. Welcome, zombie. Welcome to the stream. How are you? What's up? Um, thank me you not sick feel better. The fuck did you just say, bro? <laughs> uh, I do feel better. I did try to sleep. I only slept like four hours last night. Woke up at six like a vampire. And uh, this morning... Like, this afternoon, actually, I took a two-hour nap. And I had a lot of peppermint tea. Well, I'm having peppermint tea now. I'm trying to eat, so it'll be good, man. It'll be good. I am God! Yes, you are, zombie. We know that. Is this the map? I know... Oh, yeah, I already got the map of the dormitory, right? Guardhouse. Nope, I didn't. My bad. I did get the... That thingy map. Well, Jill, now you're just talking nonsense. Do I push this? Yeah, it's in the other room that you push. There's nothing here to pick up, so... Nope. That's gonna be obvious when you need to push him. So, for zombie... <laughs> at zombie's behest, I'm gonna try to finish the entire game tonight. Will I be able to? I don't know, but we'll see. This is the fastest I've ever gone, like come to the guardhouse I'm trying to be as um, <laughs> as fast as humanely possible but we'll see I am a little scared to see the new enemies the exclusive enemies to the Saturn version uh, ticks uh, from what I've seen they're like hunters only they unlike hunters oh, there's no one here Yes. Uh, unlike Hunters, their insta-kill move isn't like medium range, it's close range. So they just approach and go and kill you. So just gotta be make sure that I have enough health, otherwise she's done. Yeah, hello Delmar, hello, welcome to the stream. Oh, it's so lovely to see you, man. Zombies here, Delmar's here, what else can a man ask for? Nothing in the sink. Damn, these bathrooms are large. I thought my old bathroom in the, in the old apartment was huge, but this is like, for, for Spencer, that's like, ha <laughs> ha, child's play. This music? Uh, and the music in the basement. Do, do, de, do. <laughs> Those two are really, really good. So, no need for the shotgun. Yeah. It's one of the tracks that actually sounds identical on the Saturn so far because these consoles use, used MIDI, not like actual recorded music, but MIDI as in like MIDI, 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 MIDI. Synth synthesizer sounds. So each console had different sounds. You can see that in some of the games. Oh, I know in the, uh, in the English version, both uh, PAL and NTSC, uh, this key was misspelled <laughs> or like mis... It was wrongly labeled. It said some. There's a crest of a moon. I was like, "What the fuck? There's no moon on that key. What? What are you talking about? Game? It's supposed to be the power room key, I think. Or no, this is the dormitory key. I forgot. I don't understand the text. Just tap the door, and it'll all work out in the end. Yeah, as I was saying, so Saturn apparently has that sleep mode. So just like two. So it goes. 
Grenade rounds, nothing. Shells. Let's load those shells together. Save some space. Woo! Really good with the shells. This is normal with Jill in Japan. It's like... Feels like easy, honestly. I mean, it does say... <laughs> Chris is hard and Jill is easy. But, uh... It's not what I expected. So this, we're gonna need the book later. Where are the puzzle items? Here we go. Lighter, crank, another crank, book. Key, keep it, shotgun. You know what? I'll be back here again. I'll drop it for now. I'm gonna need it after this. I love this music too. It's probably my sa uh, favorite save music, Delmar. Acid rounds should kill spiders easy, right? Like, it's acid on a spider. I always thought that acid rounds are the most powerful ones, but then, over the years, I heard, like, I learned that different creatures have different vulnerabilities. Now, I do need to empty this bazooka in order to get some fire rounds for, um, for Plant 42. Oh, right, that's saved. That means I put it, like, I, uh, I put it in the right place. Put it in the right place. Oh, the doors. Oh, God, so beautiful. So, yeah, as I was saying, Saturn has a sleep mode. Oh, shit, son. They're gonna spit some poison on me. And they're different. Yep, acid for the spiders. I wasn't wrong in that. The tarantulas look different. Did you see that? And I think when you use acid, their babies don't come out. I think that's a, that's a thing with acid. If I used explosive... They, I would have a, a swarm of baby spiders on me. Oh, shit, son. Nine. So let's solve this. This should be like a clock puzzle. I know it was pretty broken in the original version. Like in the, uh, in the Western version. Both PAL and NTSC. So, uh, which is the longer hand here? Like, what the fuck? We have... What's... So it could be... 9.20 or... 320 or 350. Let's try. I ha kind of have a hundred 350, 350. Let's see. 920, 350, 350. 350. The broken pinball machine. I was always like, why is it broken? People. Need Wait, is the pinball machine different? Huh. What do you know? Three more acid rounds. I should use that on something hard. I don't know. I can't remember if there's gonna be more tarantulas. What is up with that pinball machine? I don't remember it being like this. Look at this. Imagine having this as like a place to hang out. There's a pool table in the corner. Like smart so you don't annoy other people. So if that's 9, let's just make sure, yeah, so it's 920 or 350, 350. Something in the corner here, no, I think that's all here. Should be some shells though, I remember. My memory tells me, oh yeah, there should be a corner here, right, whoop, yeah, there we go, clip, not shells, still good enough? Good enough! I don't have to issue the shotgun for a while. And an ink ribbon. Collect all the ribbons. It's one of my favorite things. Uh, yeah, I, I know all these. Like, I, the, I'm, I'm a, I'm a musical geek. Aside from being a, <laughs> a, a gaming geek, so yeah, the, the music is really important in games. So I know exactly what you're talking about. And uh, it's one of the best things about RE4, in my opinion, that music. Now, we'll know if Sakura is there, because... Uh, look at them, they're still moving. Because uh, <laughs> he'll react to that. He, he won't be able to resist. So again, as I was saying, <laughs> for the fifth time... Saturn has a sleep sleep mode for the disc. Spins down after a while to save the laser. Fucking genius. Like I said, PlayStation 1 and 
not even PlayStation 2 had that. GameCube didn't have that. I'm not sure about the OG Xbox, because it's, it's a weird console. But anyway, not just that, it can spin down the disc and still keep the... Um, oh, fuck. The map is on the wall, isn't it? Wait, do I need to use the key here? Nope. Um, it has more RAM. Maybe it's also the action replay cart, which also dubs as the expansion cartridge, just like the N64 expands the RAM. I don't know if it would be the same without it, but anyway, I could run around the room without... Oh, Hornets. Let's see if it's three-fitted. Three, five, zero. No, that's not zero. There's no zero, okay? If there's no zero. Wait, what the hell? Oh, that's slow. So, I want to know what this means. This always bugged me. Like, the, why are the... I said 350 or 920, but none of them would work. Maybe three, five, one, four, three, five, four, <laughs> three, fifty, four. Who would ever like? It's not that precise, but okay. Hornets. There are hornets. So woo. Can I? Oh. Zero, zero, zero. Run! <gasps> Fucking hornets, run! Oh my god, run! Oh, I hate them even in the game. Oh, they're like puny here compared to the outbreak ones, but fuck those bastards. <sighs> so, how does it work in the OG? I forgot. There's 002, I'm gonna need that. Uh huh. Why is it echoing like that? Okay, someone fucked up in the sound department. It's like they're talking in a huge hall. Yeah, someone fucked up here. It's supposed to be muffled, not echoing. Peppermint tea in a Pisces. Uh, uh, you can't see it, it's almost like the green screen, but <laughs> in the Pisces uh, mug. So the key is not for that, that's definitely the power key. Yeah man, someone definitely fucked up there, because uh, it should be like muffled. War, 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 really not. What about my family, Emily, 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 Emily? <laughs> There's only one item box in this place, so... I should probably take all of these back. Oh, there's more herbs. Wow. Wow. What a mansion. It's full of weed. Let's just combine all three. Oh, why is it brown now? No. Well, that makes no fucking sense, but sure. Okay. Oh, Saturn, you weird beast. 002. Wait, what am I missing then? I need to get the key from the Hornets, that's right. And this is the power key, so I wasn't wrong before. When you play a remake more than the original. Shame. Well, that's not true, I played the original more, but I played the remake more often more recently. Fuck the Hornets! Yeah. yeah, there's no gas this time. Quickly, before they come. Slowly taking the key while the Hornets are like, Hello, miss. Would you like to talk about our Lord and Savior? The flower? The pollinating flower? They don't pollinate flowers. They eat other insects. <sighs> oh, wow. I need to... How am I going to do the visual puzzle without understanding? I guess we'll see. 
And how is Barry in there locked in? Like, I, I just got the key. <laughs> just go with it. So it says dormitory key. But if you spin it, it says 002. Let's build for this room before we move on. Ugh. I like that in the remake they give you the chance to kill the horns, like spray and psh, psh. Relax, dude. It's not, it's not like... Nobody here cares, trust me. We love you, comrade, with bad English or without it. Wait, shouldn't I have talked to Barry or maybe because I changed rooms I didn't? I, feel, I kind of feel like they should have been like... Or was that in a parody? Now I'm lost. <gasps> the papers are much like detailed in this version, so I can't wait to get the PAL version and actually understand what I'm playing. May 21st, 1998. So they did Plan 42 and then in the uh, Umbrella Lab uh, they did Plan 43. Well, those were all both accidents. Zombie, can you feel like how pushing seems to be easier here than in Outbreak? It's just ridiculous. Like, look at the Jill pushing a whole fucking closet like it's nothing. No more, huh? Let's unlock the drawer as the master of unlocking. I get to do that. Wow, shells. Shells everywhere. Uh, there's not gonna be any zombies here anymore. Did I drop the shotgun? At least I know where the acid's gonna go. There will be a zombie here, so... It's about time to retire the Beretta, which is sad because I'm about to get like a fuck ton of ammo for it. Freeze, motherfucker! That was easy. Easy peasy, acid squeezy. There's more clips. What did I say? What did I just say? Yeah, back to that, uh, Delmar. Do not worry. Like, Remember, very few places on this earth actually have English as their um, native language. So, uh, it's... All of us are from somewhere. Like, you have the States, you have the, the UK, and a few more places, like Australia and some of the, I'm gonna say, ex-colonies that uh, that's that use English as uh, their native, who's in, who's, ah, whose lang native language is English, there, see? <laughs> but uh, the rest of us, we're all from somewhere. I'm from Serbia, man. You should have heard me like five years ago. I spoke like a true comrade. There is... Uh, Ari version of what? Zombie. What do you mean, my man? See, I always have to ask Zombie to explain. He doesn't give a shit. That's also because he's a lazy ass and he types with his chopsticks, but that's another thing. Yeah, there's for Saturn. Yeah, I'm waiting for it to arrive. Actually, I'm waiting for my. So I already bought the, set, the PAL version. So I bought the PAL version when. David called and said uh, he got something, he didn't want to tell me what, and he brought the biohazard version. Um, so, uh, because the guy doesn't ship at all, like eBay fucked me over a bit, I'm waiting for my salary on Tuesday to pay for a delivery service so they can get it over here, and then we're gonna play that, and with that, so with the PAL version, with Resident Evil 1 for the Sega Saturn, I am restarting the Resident Evil Marathon. We're gonna do Resident Evil 1 for the Saturn. We're gonna do... Uh, what else? Uh, Resident Evil 2 for the N64. Then we're gonna do... Hold on a second, Joe. Then we're gonna do RE3 for the PlayStation 1. Because I don't have the GameCube and other versions. And then, after that... Oh, hold on, let me mix these. Then after that, we're gonna go, like, in order. Survivor... What else was there? Code Veronica... Uh, 
outbreaks we play all the time but i'm gonna single player the single player the pal versions why not uh even resident evil 4 yes i will play resident evil 4 i said many times i don't hate resident evil 4 you know for being resident like for i don't like it being a resident evil game honestly but uh like i said before i had a very civil discussion with some nice people yesterday about this stuff and oh, wait i have an idea Whoop. Knife, nothing, pistol, shotgun shells, bazooka, rounds, 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 magnum, bullets, and then we go the rest. Crank, nothing, okay. So now, I don't even need the bazooka right now, actually. I could melt another zombie, though. Too sad, I could have used this on the hunters, man. Like, six acid rounds down the drain. And another six that I didn't get from Barry because I went to uh, forest. <laughs> Come on, speed it up, speed it up. Do, 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 do. There you go. That's all I need. So yeah, we're going to do all Resident Evils. Five, I should do with my friend Seaward as a co-stream. Or at least like as a co-op. Six, I should do with uh, my friend Mutation. Because we started that last week and never last year I never finished. Then 7 I'm going to enjoy a lot. I love 7, honestly. 7 and 1 are pretty close for me. Like, huge house, uh, mystery to solve. Yes, the enemies are shit. Yes, the running speed is weird. But, you know, look, look at this game. It has so many flaws and I love it. So, you know, it's cool. Um, and then 8 I will dreadfully do. But like all the ones in between, like that aim. I never played that aim. I'm probably gonna it's pro gonna be a rare Hippy Tesla uh, first time stream, and uh, it's how do I say that? Sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm a little blocked. Um, I'm gonna play that with mouse and keyboard if everything goes well. If I can do it here on the couch, because the my PC table is over there and it's not really good. You know, pointed towards TV. I'll make something work. Charge! Oh, why did these things reset? You like old school RE, I guess, but RE4, in my opinion, good trans transition to new style and air, and, and one of the best games in gaming history, in my opinion. A lot of people say that, but I mean, I always say. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one, and that's okay. If we like, if we didn't think differently, it would be a very boring and sad world, you know. Like, look at Zombie. He would sell his kidneys for a Outbreak File Three. I'm on the verge of that too. Honestly, I love that game. Used to hate it. So opinions exist and they change. <sighs> I don't like RE4 for what it did. Like, it moved away from. That's the music. Oh, it's even creepier than the PlayStation version. Uh, it moved away from Raccoon City. It moved away from the zombies. It just felt way too action-y. And there wasn't a single scare. I really... I should ask people, like, what was scary for you in a Resident Evil 4? I want to know that. Because I want to look at it in that light. Like, what was scary? I didn't feel felt scary. I felt like a Superman on crack, just, like, killing Spaniards left and right. They didn't do anything to me. Well, they, some of them did. Some of them just, like, minded their own business. And there I was, just fucking them up. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, what was scary for you in RE4? The Regenerator? Nah. People say that's scary, but I don't know. He was just ridiculous to me. Oh, what, how do I kill... Oh, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> There was the Regenerator, there was... What was the other guy that you had to freeze? Oh yeah, that's that's the guy actually. You had to freeze him. It's not scary, it's more like... Ugh, it's a different kind of scare maybe. I like... Fridge horror, I like psychological horror. RE4 is more like... Jump scares, and jump scares aren't that scary. They're just like, oh fuck, I'm surprised. Okay, move on. 
your you know medulon blogara is gonna be like alert alert you're gonna die oh wait that's a game you're not gonna die okay like real scare for me is Silent Hill 2 realizing what happened in that story the dread of not knowing what the fuck is happening until the end Eternal Darkness and it is Requiem. Resident Evil 1 with like, I can't see where the fuck I'm going, but like in RE4, I don't know, like, oh, there's the guy, look, I can see all the way there and snipe him, I don't even have to come close. And, I, again, I don't think it's a horrible game. Don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a very decent game. It's just like, as a Resident Evil game, it could have been more of a side game or something, I don't know. Not, not the same kind of scary, like, like, zombies are one thing, those used to be people and they're like, walking corpses, they can't say anything, they have no thought, like, I'm not scared by sentient beings, the organized, ganging up on me, and where's the map for this place, I think it's in the final room or something, you know what I mean, I will repeat again, so, in case you didn't hear, I don't think, I think it's a really good game and a fun game to play, it's just, took my baby away oh where are the sharks i hope i'm going the right way because if not wait let's go here neptunes but i can feel i think the scariest thing in re4 for me was uh the little guy what's his name there was salazar and the other guy me amo ramon salazar i think that's that's him yeah, he was fucking scary. He and his tantrums were scary. The sect guys, Morias Vivir, Morias Vivir. They were kind of scary. They reminded me of zombies. What else scared me? The Cerberi. I guess they're not Cerberi because it's Resident Evil 4. But uh, oh, Jill, could you run any slower? What the fuck? Oh, no. Yep. Now we see it. I died here as a kid. Wait, which one? Where do I go first? Which door? I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, ask me about the key now. Hold on, I'll read that in a second, Delmar. Okay. Woo! I look at it right now and there is a monster called Iron Maiden in RE4, I didn't know that. I think that's the... Maybe that's the spiky guy. Regenerators are the ones you have to kill with the thermal sniper. Oh yeah, the shelves are different, so if you remember this loom, room looked a lot different in the PlayStation version. Pull the lever. Look at the amount of dithering they had to use to make it transparent. Or I'm talking about polygons, of course everything that's in the background that's pre-rendered, like already hand-drawn and... So this, of course, this is gonna be transparent, it's pre-drawn, but anything that's polygonal, no. Yeah, yeah. Remember, I only beat that game, like, what? Three times in total, in and I first played it in 2006, so... Once in 2006, when I... F uh, no, in 2006 I didn't beat it. <laughs> I gave up uh, at the castle. I got bored. Don't kill me. Um, then my friend made me play it in 2008 by staying over at my place. And I got a fever that night. I got, a, I got, like, I got sick, cold or flu something. I remember that because we were sitting there for hours. And then I just got up to go to the bathroom. I was like, holy shit, I'm sick arms also I, when you when i get out you'll see it there's no arms thing on the wall in the playstation version um ooh, soaked stuff this is why i bring the pistol because i'm i'm too frugal to use the to use the shotgun on these guys on the on the on the neptune and the babies So yeah, the first time I actually beat it was in 2008 on the PS2, and only because I was forced. <laughs> Second time, 
2011 on the GameCube because I, I was still new to GameCube. I bought it in like 2010, and the same friend brought me his version of RE4. It is so much better on the GameCube, guys. You have no idea. Like, you will see when I play RE4 in the PlayStation uh, 2. It's what did I get? Sorry, I'm talking too much. That yeah, this is 003 key. Mm -hmm. um, so it was made for the GameCube and all the cutscenes are rendered in game it's beautiful it's so seamless like mwah. for a guy who doesn't like RE4 there was wow this is fucking amazing looks so good and then uh, again I beat it in uh, what was it last year Playing with uh, four Sasha, actually. Oh, hi, bitches. Yeah, I just keep flying. Even they look different. Like, if I wish I could change the camera angle. What is it, huh? Stop endangering yourself. Stop endangering yourself. Eh. <laughs> uh, uh, and I was gonna say the PlayStation um, 2 version, what it has going for it is progressive mode, even in PAL territories, because. GameCube removed all progressive mode support in PAL territories. I don't know why they didn't like us back then. It's really sad. Like they were like, "Fuck Europe! You get the worst of the worst." Um. Then, what I was saying, yeah, that it has uh, progressive mode, but the PlayStation 2 cutscenes are all pre-rendered um, movies, like you know. CG movies, whatever those are called, and they look horrible nowadays. Like the game can still look good, especially if you turn on progressive mode, but the cutscenes, they look worse than the Resident Evil One cutscenes somehow. I don't know how you do that, but it's like they used, they probably compressed it as much as they could to fit it on a DVD. I don't know, man. But at any rate, wait, we did that. We drained the water. Now we need to. I should have made it right. Oh yeah, I need the. Uh, 003 key and I'm gonna need some inventory space hello love how are you good to hear it's going really well slow as usual because it's me but well I do want to finish the game tonight though that's the idea so uh, wow I don't know if I'm gonna be able to but I'll certainly try So what I'll need is the Doom book. I actually don't know what happens, like... Why we do the Vigil thing if the plant doesn't really die. I think it just makes it... Easier. Okay, there's nothing here. So that's where we're gonna put the blank book. Yeah. Well, after you check it, it becomes the blank book. More ink ribbons. I'm gonna have to jump to the safe room anyway to drop some shit. And uh, be able to make the V-Jolt. The music is really good, isn't it? Really spooky. With a few chords. Such a masterpiece. Eat, lad, and die, motherfucker. Oh yeah, we'll need this for the boss. <laughs> Buff, you asshole. <laughs> I keep repeating that today to myself. Susie 9mm. I'm right here, sweetie pie. Just tell me where to shoot. <laughs> Anything in the bathtub? So that was his final ba bait. Bath? His final bath. Ugh. Oh boy. Tea. It was wonderful. You know I love peppermint. My favorite. I could go for another one actually. I did. Thank you. You remembered. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> I was like, can you make me a coffee once you're out of the shower? She's like, sure. And there she is with a cup of coffee that she's sipping on. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. It's okay, it's okay.
You you have. You can. I mean, have as much as you want, really. I'll get to it. You know, I don't really go for the hot coffee. Take a taka. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Okay, let's drop some shit. I acid melted some tarantulas. It was so cool. You know what? I'm gonna do something crazy. Something really crazy. I'm gonna use the acid rounds on the sharks, the Neptunes. Because there's no point using them on the plant, I'm pretty sure. What do you think? Should I use the two acid rounds on the plant 42 and then switch to fire rounds? Or... Um, no, definitely fire rounds on the plant, but you can't, like in Resident Evil 1, you can't swap rounds until, like, you have to expand the ammo. And I fucked up oh, last really? stream. Yeah. Fucked up by loading acid rounds early or, like, whatever. I didn't use enough of them, and I need the acid rounds for the hunters. It's the they're the bane of their existence. Yeah. At least I think. So, uh, why waste time? With what? You have an idea, zombie? You have an idea you want to share with the rest of us? So, shotgun. Here. Shells. Actually, you know what? Hehe! <laughs> OCD ahoy! You, you mean don't even do V-Jolt? Can I do that? With Jill? Just like burn it with the... Uh... Because I remember if you don't do... If you don't uh, poison the root, she'll grab me and then bury where I think will go in with the flamethrower. Yeah, let's try that. Is that what you meant? Just confirm. Because then I'm going to do that. And then I'm not going to do V-Jolt. Because we're going to do a proper playthrough of this slower with the English version. This is more like for the soul. I don't understand. So yeah, okay, I'll do what Zombie said. I'm going to bring the bazooka. Just in case, then I shouldn't have wasted those acid rounds on the zombies, but okay. On the zombie, that's just one. Because I need them for the hunters. Hunters are fucking horrible in this game. I'll still bring this, just as a security, kinda. Uh, we don't need that, what else? Uh, combine these and bring some health, so instead of... Whee! I'm gonna bring one of these, just to be safe. Oh shit. I'll spare you the OCD this time. Just this time, zombie. Just because I love you so much. Look, I'm just doing it the same. This is the simpler way, bro. I can't do simpler than this. <laughs> I bet he's like raging over there. God damn it, hippie, you're slower than the creeping death. Look at all the increments. Well, really, why am I collecting this? What is wrong with me? <laughs> I I have a problem. I admit, I do. Ha I have a problem. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> why am I doing this? There's no point. <laughs> Literally, no point. I'm gonna listen to Zombie and save some time. I didn't kill the Neptunes. Yeah, I'm gonna do this fast. That's why I say guide me, Zombie. Tell me what to do next to make it faster. That way, if I die, I can always say. Pfft. Zo zombies idea wasn't mine <laughs> who zombie was the messiah <laughs> jesus sasha <laughs> i mean zombie sasha <laughs> charge it's so fucking smooth can you see it compared to the ps version they, they they move like she moves like she actually has a purpose and this is slowed down so it's slowed down on this console imagine like at the full speed okay okay i get it so so uh what's the english expression for um smell as a cook uh pots and pans yeah something about pots and pans pots and pans my friend <laughs> Charge! Whee! What do you mean you can't put it there? Ah, oh, this always annoys me. I have to get to the blank spot. And then you put the acid 
Oh, uh, I need the, yeah, the Plan 42 report. Is it gonna... Yeah, the way you can, like, combine chemicals, kill it. I didn't even enter that room. Crazy. There's nothing there but the chemicals. I don't need to go there, right? Well, that book obviously doesn't belong there. This is worse than the Sun Hill 3 Shakespeare anthology puzzle. You know the one. Yep. Okay, here we go. Pray for me. I didn't save. <laughs> Good thing Sakuya isn't here, otherwise he'd made me kill it with a knife. So, what's what do I need to do to get, like, saved by Barry? Ah! Do I need to fight it at all, or...? Oh, this music. Oh, shit. Barry? You fuck her! Ow. What? I do need to kill it, so I do need to waste this. <clears throat> kill it, or let it kill me? B before... <laughs> Before I go f oh, through with this, I know that flame rounds will like them. Ah, fuck it, just shoot. I want to hurry. Oh, you're dripping on me. <laughs> one one flame round. Oh, yeah, now it's going to grow back and then Barry's going to come in. Yep, that's it. That's it. Kill it. Zombie has the taste for blood. Maybe, maybe it's Chris's blood. Just don't ask questions, help! Chill. Barry's taking his sweet time. Okay, I didn't see this in over 15 years. It's really good that they made... Like, if you play with Jill, you get a lot of assistance from Barry. Right? It's like, such smart fucking design decisions. Yeah, I, that's the sound I imagine. You saved me! Yeah. My hero! That was close! I love this music, Barry? man. It's like... Don't mention it. 80s synth metal something. I can't believe. What the hell is this place anyway? Can we talk, Barry? No, he's too busy. So now I should find the uh, the helmet key here. Yeah. Which will open the rest of the mansion rooms. Rebecca is like... She's more like... Well, Barry is a support character. I feel Rebecca is more like a babysitter. Even though I know... I know... Barry has that role too, but like... Chris can't play the piano. He can't mix chemicals. What can you do, man, aside from punching boulders? And this is the version of Chris I like. You know, this is like... I love... The RE1 uh, Chris looks like a fucking human, finally. That's it. That's all we need to go do here. Let's go. Fuck Barry. <laughs> Leave him there. If it regenerates... What about his family? So I didn't even go here. I didn't find the map though, guys. Where's the map? Oh, I did, apparently. My bad. I don't remember finding the map. Where was the map? I feel like it was one on one of the walls. I'm like playing this with uh, half a mind right now. Wesker. What is up with the music? So you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the Where have you been? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Why is it so quiet? You guys have met them. It was all I could do to protect myself against those 
strange old creature. Game. Is that right? At least the anyway, Japanese got the subtitles. You never got that. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Well, I'll be right back, guys. Now there are a lot of rooms in that mansion. Enjoy. Oh, I'm gonna give Sasha the controller to guide her to the safe room. I have been looking around for clues. Okay. I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Yeah, David, you, it's adorable. She never played with 10 controls. Uh-huh. Press start. And choose radio. Uh, oh. Up. There it says radio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is adorable. I know you can't answer me, but somehow... This is Brad. I am coming to Jill. make a full Jill Brad? sandwich. Now press start. I'm coming, guys. Oh, that's sweet coffee. Thank you for the love. Okay. <laughs> here I am. Here I am. 
I think there might be dogs now, but I don't remember. R1, and yeah, she will turn towards them. And then A's shoot. This is cute. I wanna, I wanna see how she, how well she does. Do you wanna fight the hunters? <laughs> Ooh, hunters have the best, uh, the best sound in this game. Well, oh, just run past everything. Yeah, there's no dogs. Okay, yeah. it's the elevator. I don't know what the red thing is though. We can. I, I tried to touch it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not even there. See, so yeah. there are some inconsistencies with people had hand drawn this. I think yeah. semi hand, semi. So yeah, David, welcome to the stream. Sorry, this is just big. She never played the classic RE. I think the elevator. Go to the elevator where you were, and I can take over from there because they're gonna be snakes as soon as you get off the, the elevator. And they are poisonous. That was cute. That was really cute. <laughs> what no? You want Sasha to play on? <laughs> we're gonna finish at like 2 a.m. <laughs> I can't save and let her fight some hunters. And here we go. We have the snakes. Oh my god, not the snakes. Not the snakes. Please, anything but the snakes. Uh, fuck you, snakes. Snake. Snake. Okay, from this point, we're gonna need this bad boy. Sorry? What, what do you mean sorry? sorry. <laughs> I need more words, my man. I need more words. Who was it? That was in Red vs. Blue when he goes like... He goes into like panic. I think it was Doc. Panicking about something. And then somebody tells him like, Use your words, dude. I love that. I can't remember. We should watch Red vs. Blue again, definitely. From the... From... from from scratch I would say it's too bad they removed it uh, from Netflix because they had like a whole season as a single episode like what was it an hour hour and a half because the episodes are like 10 minutes but um, on YouTube it's you know the way they re released it originally 10 10 minutes per episode and I love that intro roses are red violets are blue uh, some they will die in gulch, blood, uh, blood gulch. Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> blood gulch avenue. It's blue versus red and red versus blue. I can't remember. I really gotta rewatch the entire red versus blue. Are we ready? Are we ready for some unsolicited sex? Yes, yes we are. My favorite enemy in the the OG Resident Evils, the three, yeah, Hunter Alpha. Ooh, I love uh, this cutscene made me shit my pants the first time. What the fuck is this? It's going, it's opening the doors. What the hell is going on? Oh my god, it can follow me through doors. I'm so fucked. I know I was sweating. I was playing this. I didn't have a PlayStation at home. I was playing it in a game room. I was like, do I really want to see what it is? And just casually opens the door. Oh, that wonderful screech. I love it. Yep, because I have the bazooka. If no bazooka, it would be like, off with her head. <laughs> I am scared of the ticks, David. I am very, very scared of the ticks because I never fought them, so I will make additional saves. Ah, I'll, do I need a lighter? No, there should be a light switch somewhere. <gasps> I love this room. My, f my favorite room in the Spencer Mansion. Look at this. I want a work room like this. Maybe even a stream room with a window that looks into the forest. Wild do do Dobermans? Dobermans? Yeah, but that's why I saved acid rounds and uh, 
flame rounds kill them with one shot but uh explosive need i think you think you need two shotgun two to three depends magnum rounds here we go we got the first magnum rounds 357 colt python s bullet so 357 colt python I don't know, I don't think it could really decapitate someone in real life, but it's close to that. Wait, there should be a book here. Doom book not one, yeah. You can do it with two shots, with two well-placed shots. Uh, three from like medium range and four if you like shoot it from a distance. At least, I could be wrong, man. I could be wrong, I believe you. Eagle, oh, there we go, no, I want that, That's that's my tagline. Eagle of the East, East Wolf of the West. Oh, stop pressing B. It's not B to zoom out. It's C and Z. Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. That's why I keep saying that in my streams because of the books. I've never heard you say that. Really? Yeah. Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. I keep saying that all the time. What like, do I need a context for that? <laughs> the fucking Doom book. Eagle of the East and Wolf of the West. That's That looks like a hunter scratch right there. Look at this room. Even like, I don't like wallpaper because they're too much work, but I could live with this. I could just stay in this room for hours, which wouldn't make an, a really good stream. Maybe sometime, maybe. I don't know. Someday maybe I do a just chatting stream and uh, I just hang around in this room while talking. Come on, guys. Do you even watch my streams? Like, what? The... I say it all the time. Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. <laughs> I, can, I can go back to YouTube and find proof do if you, you want. Know. Okay, let's burn some hunters. Let me remember which way to go first. I'm going to say let's go yawn first. Yeah, let's go yawn first. There's gonna be hunters here. The music changed. There you go. Two grid two fire rounds. Why are they like pitch black? What is wrong with them? No one here? Oh! The message from Barry, I guess. He left some things here for us. Sweet Prince. He probably did that before he locked himself in uh, room two and uh, and, save and, uh, and saved us from the land. No, we don't know that he betrayed us yet. Shh. <laughs> I think it was Barry. I'm not sure. What? Why would Wesker do it? Yeah, you're right. He does want to see the battle data, so I don't know, man. Actually, good question. Another crank, and then this, and then magnum ammo, finally. Wait, it was... Shotgun shells, bazooka, ammo, 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 magnum ammo. There you go. I'm gonna need the key, I'm gonna need... Oh, God, this is gonna be tough with uh, inventory, so... Uh, let's leave these. Ah, fuck it, I'll find more, probably. Nah, I'm gonna leave them. How do you do this with Chris? I don't remember. <laughs> Delmar. <laughs> for that, for that, you get this, my friend. <laughs> Thank you! Oh, God. Yep, I mean, seems about right. Should I bring those acid rounds for the snake? Or just like... No. Snake is not as scary as... Uh, as the hunters. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. We'll need the magnum. I'm actually confident I can do this tonight. Because the lab is not really that huge. It's just a lot of running around. There, it's good I didn't OCD back then, because now I can put the spray in that spot, which I'll never use. 
It's just there so the other gamers could say, Wow, this guy is cool. He never used his sprays. <laughs> Once long ago, Sasha asked me, when I was playing the RE1 remake, I was re like recently after we uh, met, soon after we met, um, she was like, why do you keep hoarding those herbs if you're not using them in space? I mean, it's just a waste of time in space. I was like, it's for the other gamers. So, what, what other gamers? So they can see that I do this better. <laughs> so acid rounds, we'll save them for later. We're gonna need that spot. Uh, magnum. So they go here. Oh... Is this enough room? Probably not, but we'll do. We'll need. Do, will I need the lighter? I don't remember. Will it, when you do my voice, you do it a bit higher pitched than your own. <laughs> Should I not? <laughs> what? I mean, it, it's cute. It, it, it shows that you see me as a gentle soul, but in reality. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't I, really? I could spend those acid rounds now. Fuck it, just... You think? Yeah, fuck it. CHARGE! I can go to bed whenever. I had an afternoon nap, so... And I feel pretty good, so... I really want to finish it tonight. Might be the longest stream I had. Not counting when we finished the entire... Outbreak File 2 with John. Oh god, remember that zombie when we played for five and a half hours? Yeah, fuck it, I'll... This will be the 99 road and I kill. Balls to the wall. Because I'm gonna need need those for at least one hunter, for the snake. And once I get the magnum, it's like... Pew, pew. What do you mean, no? No what? You don't remember? Ah, uh, that's because you're old. I forgive you. <laughs> I like how I can have this, like... Rowdiness with zombie. It's like I grew up with you almost. Yeah. It's been over a year with, since we've known each other. And it does feel like more, right? Do you feel it? Like we played every fucking day for months. Okay, hunters. Hunters get the bazooka. Oh, wow. That did nothing. He was just standing there waiting. Yeah, he was turned his back. I remember that. A long time ago. Yes, it was. Should be another one here. Oh. Fuck you! How dare you! Oh! How dare you! I hope the snake doesn't kill me then. Otherwise, this was really stupid. <laughs> So, a hunter could decapitate me now, that is... Really scary to think about. But Barry will bring rope, so I'll be okay, yeah. Yeah, Barry will bring rope, because I'm Jill. You back to your shoulder, mm, not really. What does the rope do? What does the rope do? Uh, you'll see, it'll help me climb. Uh, what is up with this ceiling? Why is there a Slavic tapestry on the ceiling? Like, I don't get it. And not on the wall. There's yeah. On the wall, on the ceiling. Really weird. Well, it, it actually looks like a mirrored um, rug. Before. Yeah, but like a lot uh, in, across the entire ceiling instead yeah. of just like how the rug is down there. Okay, yawn, part two. The gallery. You know, some areas of the house I like more in the original than the remake. Like this one. Makes way more sense than that contraption in the remake. Nothing? Oh, guess. Oh, well, I guess I'll just take a look at this inconspicuous piano here. Hmm, that's quite a piano. Good thing I know how to play. Oh, it's revenge time, asshole. It can break the floor, but it can't break Jill. Oh, that was a wasted round. Two wasted rounds. Why do you have to die so dramatically, Yawn? Look at it, melting on the floor like a sock puppet. 
<laughs> Look at it. Why does it melt though? It makes no sense. It melts into little tofu pieces. <laughs> oh, less and less and less. Psh, psh. Looks like rabbit droppings, yeah. Well, that was a waste of two grainy rounds, but who gives a shit? We're fucking almighty. Yeah. Oh, well, gonna need a shotgun now instead of this. So, in this part... I'm gonna talk about it once I'm down there. Jill, have you found anything interesting? Aside from a giant puddle yes, of snake, I can't no. See very well. <laughs> How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. No shit. Wait. <laughs> I always like as a kid. I thought she says "Oh dear" and not "Oh do you." So he's he's gonna drop the rope. Going on. Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. So the way he says now I've done Barry? it, my my Barry? elementary school friend was convincing me. He was like, that's the proof he's the traitor. He said now I've done it. So that means he wanted to do it. Like, no, that's not it, man. So you can just go here and like leave. But if you wait, he'll be back with a rope. I didn't know that. I one time I was just like, let's wait and see if he'll be back in the, on like the fifth playthrough. And he was back, which was lovely. And proved my friend wrong. But you could just leave and never meet him there. If you're Chris, there's no one to lower the rope. Don't slip on the snake droppings. <laughs> hey! Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! Grab the rope! Sounded like you threw a corpse at me, but okay. I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. <laughs> I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? You seem a little Maybe polygonal. You're getting tired. <laughs> no, I'm all right. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Jill, I found something. Oh yeah, you get an additional file from him actually. Instead of finding this or you don't even get this the code if you if you don't wait for him. I can't remember. I think you don't get the code if you don't wait for Barry. 8108310, but you don't need to memorize it cuz she'll punch it herself. Like she should punch Barry probably. Thank you. I'll take this then. You already used that line before, Jill. <laughs> Should I go back and dump some shit? Huh. Hmm. Let's go kill some zombies. There's gonna be a... Yeah, I don't need to. There's gonna be a lot of shit, so... Uh, yeah. Bravely forward. That, that rope gives me snake PTSD. <laughs> There we go, the tomb of George Trevor, which uh, never was mo like, it was never signified in the original, but like I said before, in the Saturn Japanese version, there's a, at least there's a version with a bonus booklet, uh, or may, I'm not sure if it's in this booklet, because I can't read Japanese, but it tells the first, it, there's the first mention of um, uh, George Trevor, and the story is a little different, but it's amazing. I think Ink Ribbon did that, or uh, I can't remember if it were Ink Ribbon or Scorpion. I love that sound. I could listen to that sound all day long. Don't lose your head. There, yeah, I should have brought those shells regardless, but okay. Nothing else. This is such a pointless room. What is the point of this? Aside from, you know, tricking George Trevor. And what about his grave? Like, did you know that Yon is gonna break that 
hole in the wall so you could get down there. I see why they changed that in the remake, you know, because it makes no sense. So the cooks come here and they, uh, let's say they stash the food. This is in the basement. This is like cold storage. What, a, what about the ladder that leads nowhere if you don't push the grave up there? You know what I mean? You, you got to suspend a lot of disbelief. Yeah, subjectively remake is superior, but uh, oh, no. it is. It's the best remake ever made of anything, not just the game. Everybody agrees with that. Oh, they're slurping ch cherry Kool-Aid. Look at that. Now, can I get two zombies in one shot? Get up, guys. I want to ask you a question. Oh, wow, look at that. Two zombies, one shot. Pretty good, pretty good. And I can use this herb, because it's gel, it's probably gonna heal her all the way. They were eating their comrade. <laughs> what? Oh, they, they were... <laughs> Look, I made... They made a snow angel, a blood angel. That's it here, I think. Let's use one of these. Fine and dandy. She really has low health. Remind me to save ne in the next save, save room. I'm a little scared because Saturn uh, froze the first time I tried to load, so... Uh... Wait, am I back? Oops, wrong door. You never get the basement map, right? You... You just explore it. Pardon me. <laughs> they were eating our comrade. And they're all three of them are gone now. Off to a better place. What's the point of a door being locked from the other side if I'm never gonna ac access it from the <gasps> Ah, cause I could go back, use the password and never come here, I see. There should be a crawler here, I think. Yep. Mr. Crawley. Oh, Jesus, fuck! Okay, that scared me. I didn't expect it. Kick his head with the Dr. Martin's shoe. Fuck it. Dr. Martin's boot. Is that pick an item? Nope, that's no item. Oh, one of the best cutscenes again. Like the probably the second best. Is there any ammo or something here or or did I make that up? Imagine having this large kitchen, love. Like, we could make all the food we wanted. Our kitchen is very tiny. Just without the blood on the cutting board, of course. Unless it's like venison blood. Blood. Okay, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you, Thekti Dombi. Remember this? No. What's gonna happen? Oh, something scary. Look at that sock puppet hand. <laughs> it's like... It's like it was his right hand atta attached to the left arm. That was really scary as a kid. Yeah. Like, they can open doors now? <laughs> it's just the one. Enough to cop you out. Eat lead, mother buzzer. Now we can go up, yeah. Wanna kill a hunter? <laughs> it's okay, I'm not gonna stress you with that. Look at that confident walk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's skipping every step. The elevator doesn't stop at this floor, which makes no sense. Like, this is the floor where we need the elevator, because the dining room is here. Who programmed this mansion? 
Do I dare fight two hunters here? You know what? I can always turn around. I can, I can always heal and I can always turn around. The heads shouldn't roll tonight. They can only decapitate once you're down to yellow. Like to full caution, right? I think. If anybody answers that, I'll be very... Oh. Did I get two hunters? Wow! Hunter Massacre. Bravo, me. What do I want to do next? I want to rearrange stuff in the inventory and kill some more hunters. Yes. Although, no, no, I will emerge near, closer to the, to the room. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, here, here, because there's gonna be a jump scare. It's not, like, it's not terrible. Yeah, why are they dying from one explosive shell? I will, I will. Thank you, David. For explosive shells? Look at this. Look, are you looking? Jesus fuck! Nobody else? Okay, yeah, David's right. Let's save the game. There's gonna be more hunters here. Just to be safe. You're entering a new dimension. The scary door. Okay, he's not there. Oh, wow. He is here. So, apparently they're weak, weaker to explosive shells than I thought. So, fuck acid. Just blow him up. There should be one more hunter somewhere here. Probably behind the stairs. Wow. They don't even get the second... Ah, Can I even access the elevator from... Uh, from the basement? No, I don't remember. But I do have the password so I can lock the door and make a shortcut and use the helmet key and be done with that. So yeah, we're gonna go upstairs. This is the better route. Okay, here we go. Where's my bazooka? Oh, there it is. I just dropped it. <laughs> I was like, where the hell is the bazooka? I feel like I had another green herb. I think I ate it. But yeah, I ate it when they got the guy. When that sick fuck tried to eat my food. Is that all? Yeah. Just let me see if I'll need some of these. Nope. Nothing for now. I do remember that the um, tarantulas replace um, the Cerberi in the in the eastern hall. I remember that much. Equip something, Joe, for fuck's sake. There's gonna be two hunters upstairs. Victory! Screech! Third save. Damn, David, I don't know if you heard, but I forgot to back up the save data to the cartridge last night because I wasn't feeling good so I was like is it even on the console but yeah 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 zombie that's what I'm gonna do that's exactly what I'm gonna do my friend what is the cat doing downstairs she's frolicking like a band of yeah. merry men what <laughs> Sounds like there's a riot downstairs. Just one cat. So oh, poof, poof. Ah! Maybe we have a burglar and she took care of him. Yeah. She took notes from Kevin and his... I'll take care of it. Duh! Oh, wait. Ah! Oh, duh! Jesus, I can't even heal. Wow, boy. You really want that bazooka in your face, do you? He's he's alive. 
hold on, this hunter really fucked me up. Okay, he can kill me now. Oh, not yet. I, I missed him with two grenade rounds and one shot round. Only one grenade round actually got him. Fuck you, boy. Is there another one? I remember there were two here. Wow. Good thing I saved, right? Now I could restart and save those grenade rounds, but fuck it! Actually, even if he's there, I don't ever ha need to go there, so fuck that guy. Just use the key first. And a free slot. So, can they decapitate on yellow fine? Somebody, please tell me. I'm not sure. It was Mikhailo who told me that... Uh, I thought they decapitate regardlessly, randomly. But then Mikhailo told me they only do it once you're on uh, yellow caution or below. And yellow caution is... Either 75 or 50% health left. So I'm not sure. Look, there's a bird. So they reused that in the uh, in the remake. Please, someone confirm. Can they decapitate on yellow caution? I would love to hear the answer. The answer might surprise you. <laughs> oh. Here we go, Wesker's orders. Wow, the files. Are you looking at this, David? Like, all the files are so much different. Like, in the PlayStation version, they're just like a few... You know what I mean. There's usually a book or just a random paper. Every file has a different thing here. Top secret, July 22nd, 1998, 2.13 a.m. A lot of Japanese text. More Japanese text. Stars, B-O-W, B-O-W. Exit. Yellow, yes. Okay. Yellow fine or yellow caution? Yeah, man, it's amazing. No, 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 don't push that. So, I remember, this is also neat for room, though it's full of creepy stuff. Still, a lot of neat rooms in this mansion. Dip. Lights off, now we can see. Oh, yeah. I need to see to push the thing first. So, what was it? Push it... Push it. There. And then one step forward and two steps back. There's an eye in that deer. It's nice that they reuse this puzzle kind of in Outbreak. Well, the entire Decisions Decisions is, uh, is an homage to Resident Evil 1, really. Like, you're traversing a huge mansion-like thingy. Come on, climb, Jill. I can't fucking see where to climb. Where do I... Oh, here we go. Why is it so dark? No, kitty, do not approach the Saturn. Nope. Mats. Mats, mats. Ne. Psst. I know, but she doesn't. Nope. Don't sniff. Okay, thank you. Thank you, zombie. Thank you so much. Nope, not combined. Ooh, it's nice and red. Whee! They brought that back in RE7, right? The the actual examine, right? In RE7, we had to examine. Yeah. So that's another, like, people don't get me when I say RE7 is a new version of RE1, but it is. It's like, times have changed. Like, if they did that instead of RE4, it would be the best game ever. But, I mean, they kind of did with RE7. <laughs> and uh, I think that's a better direction to go. I don't mind the first person stuff. Enter the password. Alright, now we should have only zombies. Like, to me, between 4 and 7, I would take half of 7 over 10 4s. Jack Baker was the best tyrant since T00, or Mr. X if you like. Um, like the Bakers in general were a mystery, I, I was genuinely wondering what happened there. The house was fucking phenomenal. Sir, you are eating your comrade. That's not nice. Is the comrade alive? Yep. Wow. Did he... Do they eat each other like, you know, as a thing? <laughs> like, you eat me, then I'll eat you because there's not enough food for everyone. 
Okay, come closer, please. That guy really didn't want to lose his head. 70 shells, man, you'll be okay. I can eat one right away. This is really hard for me to try to play as a normal person and not as a... <laughs> as a sick bastard I am. So forum post, hunters can decapitate you in fine status. I was running around it and took the super fa around it and I took the super fast leap at me just like the one that takes your head off. I was like, wow, he's trying to decapitate me. So I checked my health, I wasn't fine. So I tried to make it do it again and it did it. So it instantly killed me. So yeah, uh, Seems I was right. They can do it and fine. They're probably m more. They're probably more likely to do it the less HP you have. Just like in Outbreak, they have. They don't decapitate because they had to tone it down. To tone it down with everything that's going on. But yeah, uh, in Outbreak, they will use their insta kill move, which is like basically ripping your guts out. They they like rear their claw and they just like go through you, rip your spine or guts out. Um, and I've been told they only do it that you know when you're on low health. But I, since playing David, you know, with the knife and all, I've seen them do it when I was like far away from from uh, low health because you have to be close to them to knife, right? And uh, I've also uh, heard that they do it when they're low on health so when they're in critical health they will do it as a desperate move which makes sense hello sir how would you like to meet our lord and savior the remingtons was that the last shell yeah three clicks Seven shells. It's magic. Jill is the master of reloading. Holy shit, it's almost the IP change time. Hold on. Alarm. I, I forgot to put set the alarm for 10. Yes! Explosions! Michael Bay would be proud. And there's the battery for the uh, courtyard elevator. With this... Oh, wait. There's one more thing to do. Uh, get the magnetic optical disc or MO disc. And uh, then we're done with the mansion. We can go down to the courtyard. I feel like there were shells here as well. Ah, fuck it. I, can't, I have Arnold's voice in my head so, all day saying... This will be the 99 rodent I kill. Resident Evil 1 remake. No, like, there's no question about it, Delmar. The best remake of anything ever. I, I, Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes are amazing games, but they're just sh shitty remakes, if you ask me. Sir, I know you're... There should be a zombie here. What? No zombie? What? I've been lied to? I don't like that uh, Resident Evil 2 remake, oh there he is, has no true A-B scenario that really disappoints me. Like you kind of have, oh god, do I have to aim up for your head to fly? Yep. Um, that's really like a huge loss, they invented that. So Capcom did that for Resident Evil 2 and then when Nintendo was making The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Season games, Capcom Production Studio 4, I think, was uh, developing it, and they did the same thing. So those games come on two cartridges, you can play one or the other first. It's not like the whole thing. That, that was so good that the Nintendo wanted it for the, their game. And now in the remake, they're like, nah, fuck the zapping system. That's for pussies. Real man like over-the-shoulder camera. I don't like over-the-shoulder camera. I don't like... Um, Zombies taking fucking 50 bullets to die. Just how many bullets can a zombie soak up before it stops being 
you know, anything but a pile of flesh. Makes no sense. It's just... Because the games, like, as people complain, the games are short. They're much, they're very drawn out uh, compared to the originals. Like, Resident Evil 2 Remake, at least. 3, not so much. But I feel like they made zombie stuff just to, like, make the game artificially longer. I don't know, man. It's great games. Again, it's like all these games we're talking, they're all above average. There's the average, like here, your average Joe game, whatever. And then you have Resident Evil up there above my roof. And you have Resident Evil. I'm gonna say even Survivor is a fun game to play. But I will always prefer... Uh, I will. I don't know. I can't say that I will always prefer, but I do prefer... Uh, the original 2 and 3 over remakes, especially 3, so 2 is kind of, you can say, you know, you know, both, wait, what, I'm missing something, hmm, you know what, I think it's time to activate the magnum, maybe. Um, Two is kind of more com competent. Three was definitely rushed out, and it's funny because my friend Slim, Slim Cognito loves the RE3 remakes and think it's the better than the original. I think I don't have to be right. I think it's because he didn't live through the full depth of the original RE3, uh, everything it has to offer, because it's. It's a game full of twists and turns, and uh, I played... That was my first Resident Evil. I, I played it 50 times, probably. Last year, year, last March, I'm streaming it on Twitch. I do things a little differently than, like, any time I did it. Nemesis fucking jumps me from... He falls from the sky. He jumped from the building, like, straight in front of me. I was genuinely scared. Never saw that before in all my 50 playthroughs. So you can get that with uh, Resident Evil... With RE3 Remake. Like, it's a fun game, but it's just so short. And the Gamma Hunters are terrible design. Like, they look like wingless chickens. I don't know. I could shit on remakes all day long, but I love them. More than RE4, I will tell you that. What am I doing here? The fuck am I doing here? Gotta drop this. You know what? We're gonna put another green in here, because I don't have infinite space. Space. There. Am I still too slow, zombie? I'm trying here. I'm really trying, man. <laughs> I'm doing my best. So that. That. And then, finally... I feel like I'll need a lighter in one more spot. I just can't remember where. It's been a long time. The last time I played this, the PlayStation disc froze on the uh, on the Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West fountain. So I'm not missing anything, am I? Just gonna go get the Magnum. Which remake do you favor, uh, Delmar? I want to know. Like, which games do you like of these Resident Evil games? There's so many now. We can literally... There's a Resident Evil game for everyone. Even for Sasha, who's not a horror fan. She doesn't like horror. And um, she also... Like, she thought the Resident Evil is something stupid when we met. And I was like, boy, girl, are you wrong? <laughs> and then I showed her the games. And she was like, fuck, this is a lot better than I thought. This is... It makes way more sense. And then I showed her the first Resident Evil movie. I don't think we finished it. It was like, yeah, so like even for a non-Resident Evil fan that was like, what the fuck am I looking at? Okay, fair enough. Would you like to play the uh, 2 and 3 remake? And uh, may I ask what's stopping you? Let's finish this tiger. What do you mean an outbreak you would die a thousand times over? For being slow? Yeah, but outbreak has short scenarios for a reason. Come on, tiger. Don't take your sweet time, man. Here we go. The cult python. The Monty python. <laughs> 
Should I press ABC and start, David? <laughs> it resets the game. Oh, no. <laughs> the cult python. And it's fully loaded. <laughs> yeah, the first remake is the best. <laughs> okay, David. Yeah, Delmo, the first uh, remake is definitely... Like, that and Conquer Live and Reloaded. Two best remakes of a game ever, right? Yeah. Conquer, because it's a comedy game, it even, like parodies the whole concept of remakes we didn't even use the elevator what a weird run what a weird customer <laughs> I like seeing your reaction run comrade Jill run our shotgun becomes very useful Yep, it's just, it's so catchy, man. <laughs> when he goes, me, 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 me. <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> he has to clear his throat. And the fact that the, the section is called Sloprano, right? Slo slop Sloprano. Sloprano, yeah, that's just like, fuck me. That's some comedy, man. Fuck me sideways and call me Sally. What are we, miss we missing? Nothing else. Just just go up there. I don't think... I don't even need this health right now. Just because I might need the inventory slots. So I'm gonna put it here. Look! No OCD! Wow! I'm down to like five slots in the chest. It's Imagine like opening the chest and just like pile with joints, grenades, uh, shells, clips. Like so many clips. I know the game puts them in one clip. But uh, <laughs> it would be like 20 clips in there. <laughs> Somebody op Wesker opens it like, hmm, maybe when we were thinking about this mission, maybe we should have removed all the weapons and ammo from the mansion. Because this way we kind of gave him a leverage. <laughs> oh yeah, there's another story that's in the, I think in the Japanese Saturn version, where that, oh no, it was one, one of the comics. I saw that on Scorpion's uh, YouTube channel. He really goes in depth with these like comics and uh, less known Resident Evil stuff. But there's a whole story how how Bravo team was uh, sabotaged, why the helicopter crashed and all that, because they had Zero in mind before, you know, way before. It was supposed to be a Nintendo 64 game, but the cartridge limitations made them cancel it. And it really makes, like, imagine, I don't know how Capcom felt about that when Angel Studios actually ported the RE2. A much bigger game to the to the N64 64 megabyte cartridge that must have been like we could have done RE0 on this like they 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 could have done it they totally could have done it and a little secret it's said that uh, RE2 oh wow it's time for the IP switch okay so just very short it is said that RE2 uh, could fit on one disc instead of two and uh, it was an oversight on uh, one of the programmer side we'll get right back into that it's time for the IP switch if you know my channel you know what this means uh, I'll be right back with more Resident Evil 1 Biohazard for Saturn don't go anywhere the stream will cut out just stay there I'll be right back here we go folks I'll be right back just let me bin something Trunk, trunkety trunk, finish him. Oh wait, I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to switch. <laughs> Whoop! All right, all right. Here we go. We got the Xevia battery, and we're back. Welcome back, uh, Resident Evil One Biohazard Bio Space Hazard on the Sega Saturn. Thekthy, <laughs> makes you thekthy. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a YouTube video uh, David showed me a few years ago. I should really watch it again. 
is this guy like talking about Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis because he's from America and he did the thing that really like it's a stupid gag but it always makes me laugh because he says Sega Genesis makes you sexy <laughs> I don't know why that just made me laugh so that's how David and I greet each other <laughs> David is a huge Sega fan, so uh, I love all the consoles, honestly. I have a special, like some consoles have a special place in my heart, like N64, because it gave me Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, yes, why not? Uh, what else? I don't know. That and maybe the Game Boys, because I grew up with the Game Boy. It was the first console I actually owned actual original console because over here in Serbia like the gaming scene was weird oh hello sir well that was censored um, we had wow look at these files this is just not fair raccoon times <gasps> there these there, this new newspaper is also in outbreak right right we're gonna read this on the English version in, a f in two weeks. I can't wait, guys. I just can't wait. Uh, which side do I push it to? I'm gonna say that side. Yep. All the way. There's a lot of books, but I don't think we can read any of them. There's another door. What door? Let me check the map. Huh, I forgot this part, like the details to it. So we have the secret secret room and we have another room there. Yeah, we'll check both. Let's go to the secret room first because there's gonna be... It has a hell of a view. La 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 la. I am the great mighty poo. And I'm gonna throw my shit at you. A huge supply of dish come from my chocolate starfish. How about some scat, you little twat? Bum, bum. Oh, fuck, the chat wasn't there at all. Let me check on... So if anybody wrote anything, I couldn't see it. Should refresh the chat right after the... Uh... <laughs> yeah. So, um... Hey, Bate is here. Welcome, Bato. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, we don't bring politics to this channel, man. Like that's like th this is a place to get to um, to take a rest from the politics and the real world. But yeah. Well, good luck and be careful there. Uh, what am I looking for? Yeah, the chat is there. <laughs> no, it's okay, man. We just like it's easier to avoid that shit. Oh, zombie's gonna no, I'm gonna respect the zombie. I'm not taking the ink ribbon. Playing uh, the original Resident Evil or Biohazard, the Japanese version on the Sega Saturn. Oh, wow, did she look at it by herself? There's a helipad, that's where we'll run from. And there's is that the dormitory or the other part of the mansion? I'm not sure. I think that's the... That, that's Because we're in the western wing. That's the eastern wing of the mansion. Probably. Too bad I don't understand the language. It would be really sexy if I did. So that's going to be our escape route in about an hour or two. Now where's that mirror disc? I, we need a mirror disc. For years I wondered what an MO disc was. It's... It appears here, it appears in um, Resident Evil 2 to open the, again, the door to the final, in the A scenario to open the, the huge elevator door <laughs> to uh, fight Willy the last time. <laughs> and then um, in Outbreak there's a lot of ammo discs. So I was always wondering, what the fuck is an MO disc? It's a magnetic optical disc. And uh, of course I never heard of it because it was a big deal in Asia. But not so much in um, the rest of the world. 
So we need to push the bust. Now this looks like the same bust uh, in the R2 where you put the jewels. See that? Or at least fairly similar. So let's not fuck this up. We gotta push this from this side first. Come on, Jilly. Jilly Willy. Whoop. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Fair enough. No, this is single player. This is the very first Resident Evil, 1995. Uh, originally came out on the PlayStation, but we're playing it on the Sega Saturn. A console that many people didn't even hear in Europe, let alone Serbia. So, uh, yeah, and uh, David brought me the, the Japanese version yesterday, so I had to stream it right away. I broke away from my user, usual schedule. Uh, and in two weeks, I'm getting the, the European PAL version shipped from uh, UK. So we're going to play that in English. This is more like for the soul. I, I can't read the text, but I know the game. I played it over 20 times in my life, so yeah for its time it was so amazing like even today if you don't mind the graphics because that's the only thing probably that that's the thing that's mostly like zastarelo to um, <laughs> uh, obsolete yeah let's say uh, but the, the the atmosphere the horror I love both the story is Story is cool, the acting is ridiculous. Uh, if you haven't heard the Resident Evil 1 voice acting, voice acting, you haven't heard anything, my man. That's some, like, like top grade shit. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, of course. There's so much awkward voice acting. The story is... It blew our minds when it came out. I remember playing this as a kid in a PlayStation game room, uh, Igronica, and uh, it's still scary. Like, even though I know it, the atmosphere, the music, listen to that. You're stuck in this house, trying to solve the puzzles and escape, there's zombies. You have no idea, first time you're playing, why there are zombies, just like uncovering. By Resident Evil 2, we know what's going on. But uh, here, you're just like, what the fuck, where am I? Why am I here? And um, gameplay mechanics are, I, I adore them. This is my way of playing Resident Evil. Modern Resident Evils went like, over the shoulder perspective. They remade one, which is the best remake of a game ever. Uh, the proper remake with no bullshit. Uh, they remade 2 and 3 recently in 2020. So 1 was remade in 2002. And uh, 2 and 3 were remade in 2020. 19 and 20 respectively. They're fucking amazing visually. But uh, some of the gameplay mechanics I didn't like. Because in Resident Evil 2. So here you have two characters. You've got to pick one when you start. I picked Jill. Because I like playing with her more. But... Uh, in RE2 you have two discs, two characters, you can start the game with whichever and then resume the game once you beat it with the other character. That was mind-blowing when it came out, like there was nothing like it. But they like, they removed that thing in the remake for some reason and you know they made it more modern, which is okay, just miss those things. Some things in the remake are a lot better. I don't like Resident Evil 4 as much, I love the game but I don't like it as a Resident Evil game. And that one, the people adore for some reason. And, um, yeah. But yeah, I went far away from your question, man. Because it really makes me happy to see you guys here. Uh, and I like sharing this stuff, that's why I stream. Like, that's the main reason I stream, to talk about this. Because nobody listens to me at home! <laughs> wow, we have... 24 Magnum rounds. Magnum is the most powerful weapon in the early. So I have a bazooka or like a grenade launcher. Which is pretty like powerful but it's slow and like arches. Magnum just psh, one shot almost anything. So guys, do you think we should switch to the Magnum for the hunters for the time being and save the... Fuck, we'll have the ticks as well. Shit, shit, shit. Shit. Ah, screw it, I'm just gonna go. Health, let's bring that herb that I forgot, that joint I rolled for later. There you go. And then we'll save in the underground. Yeah, the 357 Colt Python. The first 
three Resident Evil games used actual uh, weapon models and manufacturers, like the shotgun is the Remington um, M870. The icon is stupid, but this is the shotgun in action. M870 Remington. Uh, actual mod mod blah, model of the shotgun. The Magnum is the 357 um, Cold Python, but for after Resident Evil 3, uh, they stopped doing that because video games became more of a mainstream thing and they would have to pay licenses. So they started inventing these names for like <laughs> weapons. Uh, what was it? Like the. It's not the Desert Eagle, it's the. What's the name for the new Magnum, guys? It's not the Desert Eagle, it's. Oh, I forgot. Fuck, I forgot. Let's go here, then up the stairs, then around where we kill the Magnums. I'm gonna avoid the Tarantulas and the rest of the Hunters. Fuck those guys. I will drop by the art room, though. <laughs> Not Magnum 2.0, but you're close. You're very close. Kenneth's corpse is mysteriously gone. I guess they ate him completely. Shoes and all. <laughs> You're entering a new dimension. The scary door. <laughs> no, not the... You know what I mean. It's not Desert Eagle, it's... Damn, I use it all the time in resistance. That's my main weapon, because it's like a sniper, but... Please check what it's called. Can you see the Magnum in modern Resident Evil games? I can't remember for the fuck of me. Six barreled RPG. There will be a four barreled RPG. Oh, you mean this? Yeah, it is a six barreled RPG. Rocket propel propel propelled grenade launcher. It's actually a police grenade launcher, kinda. But uh, in the Western version, they, they. Not STI Eagle. It is some kind of an Eagle, though. Look, Resident Evil 3 Remake Magnum. Thank you, love. In like later games, they properly named it uh, Grenade Launcher, but here in English it's called Bazooka, even though Bazooka should be a rocket launcher, as far as I'm aware. Um, but yeah, in the uh, in from Resident Evil 2 onwards, all the Grenade Launchers are the you know the the type that that you like. You break it to reload it. It just takes one round. Lightning Hawk. Lightning Hawk. That's the yeah. name they gave it. So this room is locked until we beat the game when we'll get the the what is it called the closet key where you get the alternate costumes. Even back then Capcom was big on uh, cosmetics, which I never liked in the old games because you change the costume, it's pretty cool, but then in the cutscene because in the pre-render cutscenes because they couldn't render it for each costume, they're back in their original costumes, it just breaks the game for me kind of. But in the modern games, the costumes are okay because all the cutscenes are rendered in the engine, game engine, so it makes more sense. So if you want to play as a piece of tofu, yes, in Resident Evil 2 Remake you can play as a piece of tofu. It's best for everything, but yeah, it's best safe for the boss encounters. And like it's the it's the signature Resident Evil top weapon. The only thing that tops it is the rocket launcher, which you always get at the final boss. Because you gotta want so in this game we're gonna fight the final boss and then we're you know shooting with the magnum and the grain launcher everything and then our colleague who escaped like a pussy he is at the start he's gonna come back with a chopper and be like Jill use this blow it up oh thanks Brad you fucking <laughs> ah and then you just one shot it. it gives you four rockets but you really just need one and I think every Resident Evil ends with rocketing the final boss. That's the staple of Resident Evil. You get somebody will throw a rocket launcher to you, and you get after a long fight, you get to rocket that final boss and see him blow up in pieces. Ah! Oh God, I forgot there are hunters here. Uh, didn't I? I was. I didn't pass here. Woo! Let's not die now. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, that was lucky. Hunters are. A biological weapon, B.O.W., made by combining human DNA with amphibian. Is there hunters here? And they they can if they're if you have you're on low health or they're on low health, they decapitate you with one hit. They just jump, take your head off, 
and run away with it. Fucking scary and my favorite enemy in old school Resident Evil games. You saw the Hunter Gamma. So no, Hunter Alpha is... Uh, I should do that, really. Thank you, Bato. Thank you so much. I owe you a bottle, bottle of water or beer, whichever you like more. Probably beer. Uh, alpha Hunters, these guys, the Screechers, they're uh, a mash of human and reptilian DNA, but the ones you saw in Outbreak the other day, Gamma Hunters, they're a mash of human and amphibian DNA. And there's also Beta Hunter, which is just like a red... Like a normal hunter, red with exposed brain. They're also cool, but uh, they're they're secondary. I'll bring this weed because there's gonna be more hunters. How many grenades we have? <laughs> we're fine. Okay, guys, we're gonna see the Saturn exclusive enemies that I've never seen because of the first time I'm playing this. Um, yeah, they are, but uh, horror mutant. Ninja Turtles. I like that. Actually, I'm gonna steal that. No hunter? No hunter. Okay. Maybe one here. I don't remember. Uh, what was I saying? I forgot. Fuck. I'm so, so excited to see you guys here. I should save when you get to the underground because the laser is doing some tricky dicky stuff. Well, oh, fuck you. Where, where did you go? You want to take my head? Now you, I took your arms. <laughs> Need a hand, buddy? <laughs> Horror Mutant Ninja Turtles. I love that. I love that. That was... That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's... Please don't, don't, don't freeze. Do not freeze. Oh, that's awfully slow. Whoo! Save at the first save point. No hunters here. No hunters here. Fuck, I forgot the crank. Damn it, zombie, it's your fault. You're supposed to be my guide. I'll save as well, because... It's getting... Sounds like it's struggling. Whoo! I think fr the console freezing is scarier than the actual hunters. I love this background sound though. This is just the summer for me. Crickets, zombie Dobermans, Dobermans in the distance. That's the life. One of the reasons why I like living in the Bayevats Bato is because of this mansion. It really reminded me of the mansion and the forest surrounding it. Wait, not the radio, I want to show the map. So that's the mansion, where we were, you don't care about that, there's the courtyard, fucking huge courtyard, and then we have the guardhouse or the dormitory. Like look at the size of the guardhouse, <laughs> how many guards do you need? But the guy who built it, the founder of Umbrella Incorporated, Oswald E. Spencer, was a megalomaniac. And obviously he liked weed a lot because there's so many weed, or uh, so much weed around his house. Um, the sick bastard also no zombie you're my guide don't don't get out of this we agreed on this you're my guide all my mistakes are your mistakes now <laughs> uh the 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 guy is so sick that he he had a, a famous architect uh george trevor build the mansion and the traps and everything in it puzzles and then he was like bring your family let's celebrate and then he killed him and then he used his family as a as uh, guinea pigs so in the remake because like the game was rushed originally in 1995 when they remade it they did the director's full vision of it it's marvelous that's why it's the best remake ever like the graphics hold up even today like they re-released it uh, in 2015 then again like last year like they re-release it every once in a while and uh, the game still looks good. That's how good the graphics are in the RE1 remake. So what I need is the crank. Well, it would be easier if I went this way, actually. <laughs> the box is full. And I'll also need the ink ribbon to save. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. What is it, kitty? You look upset because of the doggies? Or is it the doggies that's upsetting you? Meow. There we go. Wow, she actually understands your meowing. Adorable. What is it, kitty? I'm playing a game here. I can't really... I can give you a kiss. Mwah. She's like, I don't want kiss. I want food. No, I'm the king of this mansion here. I got the bazooka. I learned to shoot and run and dodge and I'm gonna kill you all. I'm not really singing here, more like narrating. But I like making lyrics and stuff, so go with it and leave me alone. Oh, whoopie do. I wanna shoot at you. I want to blow you up, decapitate, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm opening the door to the horror. Another door, another load, oh yeah, shooby do. It's okay, man, have fun, and thanks for dropping by. Like, it really means a lot to me. Hope I see you soon in real life, man. Damn it, Joseph. Fuck, Joseph infected me with that. So we have the crank, we have the battery. Do we have the battery? Yeah, we have the battery. We do have the battery. Oh, that's sweet, man. Thank you. That is... How are you two beers? Or something even better. Oh, I thought you were reacting to beer. <laughs> it was the cat walking on her stomach. That is really sweet, Bato. Why am I putting cases on his name when I'm speaking English? I should say this, that is really nice, Bata. Yeah. It's weird, right? So let's go through the snakes! Oh my god, the snakes! Wait, they're not there yet. Ah, oh, I'm blinded. I looked at the stage light. Oh. Snake! Oh my god, snakes! Not the snakes! My booty! No! <laughs> Fuck you. Whew. I see spots now, because I looked at the stage light. That was really dumb. <laughs> show him what it's like without... The, oh, no. Fuck it. When you're free. I was like, show him what it looks like without the stage light. Charge! Now we make the shortcut. Here, love, why we did this. We put the battery in the hole. In the hole. Shoop. And then we can use this elevator. Mm -hmm. Wish, 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 wish. Up, up, up. Don't freeze. Because it's an old disc based console. Cartridges are superior in that way that you can ne they will never freeze on you. Well, they will if you dislodge them or the contacts are dirty, sure, but not like... Yeah. You know what I mean. They're more durable, generally. Like, I still have... So I have the, the original Legend of Zelda and Zelda 2 uh, for the NES from 1987 or 8. I think they were released a little later in Europe. Never change their save batteries, they still keep the saves running. On the other hand though, Super Smash Brothers on the N64, all the years I spent playing with my nephew, with David here, with Mikhailo, like with Sasha even, all gone. One day the battery just decided to die. Pew, gone. I cried that day. Okay, now that we blocked off the water and filled the pool, snakes can suck it. 
How does it know when to stop filling? Like it's coming, it's coming from a stream in our climate. <gasps> Zombie, what if the thing that's filling this uh, pool is the same stream that's in uh, that's in uh, in flashback in Outbreak File Two? You know the stream that we got across. Maybe it's the same stream because that's supposed to be very close to the to the mansion. That just dawned on me. Why are you crying, zombie? Why are you raging, zombie? Because of the save files? Because I lost my Super Smash Brothers? Whee! Maybe? <laughs> oh, you mean the, 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 the stream, yeah. The, the river stream, not the... Yeah, man, imagine, that was like... Over ten years of playing that game. I had thousands and thousands of battles, and it has like... It has, uh, like Outbreak, it has detailed stats, like how many times you used each character against which character, which moves you used. I like that stuff. All gone. Just, like, disappeared. I shed a tear that day. Okay, it's time for the ticks. Let's get serious. We have new enemies here, the ticks. I have no idea what to expect. I do know I need to keep healed, because apparently they will use their insta-kill move... Uh, close range. Oh yeah, Enrico! <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is, my throat is a little, little raspy, so I can use, mm -mm. I can't go high-pitched as usual, but, uh, you did well. <laughs> uh, see there, I have a skip there, <coughs> which is the reason why I can't sing well this time. Oh fuck, is there a, there's no ink ribbon here. There should be. Is there an ink ribbon here? No? Oh, fuck. So here we need the other crank, I'm pretty sure. Let's try this one, though. Yep, nope. Enrico! Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? <laughs> yeah, we were checking. It would be nice. No, you're, you're busy. I'm... I'm, I, I'm I feel sad moving you, but I want, uh, I would like to see the disc. Well, never mind. So, in the. Fuck. Oh, Jill. Scared me. What good timing. A moment ago, I heard okay, someone's okay. voice coming from this hole. I should call my Let's tits. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. What, 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 why is this for? What is this for? What if I say no? I never said no. What would happen if I say, I don't want to go with you? Does any can everybody tell me? I wonder. I just I'm not gonna do it, but should I do it? No no it's okay, I'll tell him about it. Just anybody, zombie, what happens if I say no? Did you ever say no? Let's try it, fuck it. He'll die! Oh, thank you. Then no, I don't want Barry to die. Never. We'll never see that in the stream here. Well, we will, because I will want then for cover you. all Let's the hurry. endings. I didn't know that, man. Thank you. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. So what now? If I tell him to go first, I can tell. I can say no, and he'll stick with me, right? Okay, let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. Wait, I said no. Okay. That's where the flamethrower for Chris would be. Now, let me remember this map. Yeah, I should check that. So, let's go left first, because I'm a lefty. I always go left first. I don't know where he'll leave me. He does have a magnum bastard, so... That's what I wanted. I wanted to bring the magnum for the ticks, just to be safe. But, uh, I guess we'll live. Where are you looking at, Barry? Giant hole, that's where the elevator in the remake is. What, it goes down the hole. Wait, Enrico is here, right? Or is he? Actually, I'm not sure. <coughs> oh, it goes both sides. Okay, so I didn't miss anything. 
right? That looks like a door. So I, I need that little... Ah! We saw Barry's head up close. I want to check that little... Here. I think it's here. Is this a door? Nope. A spray? I'll leave it. Because I, I, I'm trying to be civil here. Maybe Wesker needs it. But these will need. I feel safe with safe with all these grounds. So the generator. Oh, it's a nuclear generator apparently because it has the radioactive sign on it. So we came in from there. Let me just check the maps, get my bearings. Okay. So now we want to go to the door that's over there. We want to meet Enrico! Enrico! Oh fuck. There's the tick. There's the tick. A tick. That's really cool, having uh, exclusive enemies. They did that in the 90s. Well, it was really wonderful if a ported game on a different system is anything like the original. But here, like, this was really badass to have the same game on two systems. It was rare, guys. Is that voice? Here we go. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Huh? Yeah? You're alive! I'll be right back, guys. I need Are more with anybody, Jill? coffee. What? Oh, yes. Enrico. So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ha! Here we go. <laughs> Isn't it lovely how Enrico knew he was gonna get shot? Ah, oh. <laughs> he was like ah, and then he got shot. <laughs> Enrico, Barry's investigating. He's probably slurping blood again. He has a clip though, right? Which we're not going to take. No. He might need it in the afterlife. You never know. Well, whoever was here dropped a... A brand new crank. Well, their loss. That was Wesker, wasn't it? Wesker! Uh, no. This one is hex-shaped, I think. Yep. And that's it for this room, right? Yep. A pointless room again, just to have Enrico die there. <laughs> Oof. It's not cold tonight, at least. I don't feel cold, so that's pretty cool. I can do this, zombie. That's one. I hear another one, but fuck that guy. How many rounds? Two. Okay, let's focus. These guys have a very close range uh, insta kill, like I said. Let's not see how powerful it is. Come on. Oh, huh. not as bad as I thought. So are they supposed to be like a like a mash of a tick and human DNA, just like hunter alphas or reptilian in human DNA? I don't know. 
I'm gonna actually research that. I didn't research that before the stream. I just know they're called ticks and they're fucking scary because they can... They kill you. Actually, you know what? The Outbreak Hunter R insta-kill move, that's from the ticks. That That's why I was so familiar. That's That's actually... That's how the ticks kill you. Wow. Fancy. It looks... It really looks better than the PlayStation version. Because it's a squeaky sound. <laughs> the kid is like, what is that? Thanks for opening the inventory for no reason, Jill. Now... Since I didn't bring any um, ink ribbons, very dumb. Uh, we're gonna have to kill the black tiger with the um, with everything we have. Dick. Oh fuck! There's gonna be a rock here, isn't there? Uh, like this, maybe. Is he gonna go after me or not? Really? Oh, I kind of remember that crushing me. Oh, there we go. And the fire grounds, which we'll need for the. Oh, okay. Ooh, I'm never sure if I'll make it here. There should be a hunter there, a tick. Actually, not a hunter. Or not. <gasps> there it is. Yep, I was right. Just like ignore him, pick up the item. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. Still fine. Now we load these. Because we're gonna need it for the black tiger. The giant tarantula. Or, or is it a tarantula? I'm not sure. Okay, okay. Okay. This is the door to the black tiger, right? Yep. Oh my god, the music. Why is it so bad? That can't be it, man. Really? Seriously? <laughs> Are the little baby spiders gonna run out of it? I don't see them. Oh, fuck, there they are. I heard this is a real thing with some spiders. Uh, not sure. <laughs> hello, Iota. Hello, hello, Iota. I I forgot Iota. 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 I think. Yep. Yep. I think that's it. It's been a long time, man. How are you? Look, we have a Sega Saturn now. We're playing uh, Resident Evil on the Saturn. Happy New Year, my man. Like, you disappeared. Well, I disappeared, but you also disappeared. Wait, do I have that one inventory slot? Yes, thank God. Otherwise, I'd have to roll this joint for nothing. I don't emulate, man. Like the, My channel header says no emulation, only real hardware. I play everything on actual consoles. That's my thing. That's the That's the way God intended it to be. Everything I play, it's on a console. If it's emulated, it's emulated from uh, from another, like, f for instance, software emulation, Xbox 360 games on Xbox One, that's as far as I go with emulation. This was my first back in the day, scary as shit. Yeah, it is still scary, right? Right? And uh, my first was RE3. 
then one, and then two, and then all of them. Oh, cool! Okay, this is as far as we got uh, in the on the PlayStation version uh, two years ago, because the disc froze. Where are the snakes, though? I kind of feel there should be snakes here. So this is the Saturn version. It's different. Uh, there's a lot of differences. I talked about them last episode and this episode as well. Uh, one of the big differences we just witnessed is uh, in this level, hunters are replaced by new enemies called the Ticks. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm all about that stuff. That's why I'm doing this. So I'm playing the Biohazard version. My friend David brought it yesterday. In two weeks, uh, the PAL uh, version is arriving for the Saturn in English. So that one I'm going to play like I normally play things long and like with all the stuff. But uh, this one I'm just playing like this is very fast for me. I'm going to finish it in two sessions. That's like that's not uh, something I normally do. Uh, what do I need to save here? <clears throat> I don't need the pistol at all anymore. I will need... I'm gonna replace this weed with one single weed. I'm very OCD with the inventory, but I'm, I try not to be because my friend Zombie asked me to do this as fast as possible, so I'm trying, man. This is what, like... This is almost six hours now, get playthrough. I never got a good or a grade on these games for like speed i like to do it like i'm right there this is a role-playing game for me believe it or not so don't take the ink ribbon zombie will go mad yeah i mean normally it takes like 10 to 12 hours for me to beat, the, beat this game just because i enjoy i enjoy it i don't like speed running is just it's something I don't enjoy because what's the point you know for me it's all about exploration checking everything now it is it is true that in this version I have no idea what it's saying because it's in Japanese so it makes sense to speed run the speed run it at the pace of hippie Tesla yeah <laughs> I guess but still I, I don't maybe outbreak outbreak I could speed run and I have an agreement that testy drive to do the oh, snakes my god the snakes are back no not the snakes please not the snakes this is as far as i got i will this is as far as i got on the playstation version because my main ps2 uh can read the disc past uh, like when i need to switch the screen to the fountain to put the eagle of the east wolf of the west it just freezes but i in the meantime i got another ps2 that can read best that point oh maybe david was right i should have saved walls to the wall or not yeah well let's let's play it safe i got this far i got this far let's not fuck it up <gasps> you had you had the saturn Man, we like over here. I was just telling you earlier, I knew about the Mega Drive or Genesis. Oh, snakes! Oh my god, the snakes! Not the snakes! Just not the snakes! Oh. Okay, we gotta do that every time there are snakes in Resident Evil. Uh, over here, like, Mega Drive was huge in the 90s, and then just came the PlayStation and the Dreamcast. I didn't hear about a Saturn like until I got the internet in 2005. But David, my friend who brought this, who just suggested me to save. Thank you, David. He's a huge Sega geek. So he's got like all this Sega stuff. And he brought it all here. So we can stream it. Thank you, David, again. Like me, myself, and uh, the team. The whole stream team and the fans. We all thank you. So this is the Japanese version played on the, on the PAL Saturn. So uh, it's slowed down because we're using an action replay to actually boot the game. And uh, and it's slowed down to 50 frames, of course, but... You're from Spain, right? If I remember correctly. That's weird. That's that, It's not weird, it's amazing. That's what I wanted to say. You actually had those consoles. 
So yeah, David brought me everything Sega. So there's not enough time. And for, when I started this channel, I thought, man, I'm gonna burn out through all my games in like what a few years. What will I stream then? But snakes! Oh my God, not the snakes, please! Just not the snakes, anything but the snakes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. It's already slowed down from 60 frames Japanese NTSC to European PAL 50 frames. And then on the stream, I uh, what I do is, because it's interlaced rendering, the Twitch doesn't work well with interlaced, I um, make it progressive by halving the frame rate to 25. So you're watching it at 25 frames per second. And uh, it's still so smooth, right? And the Saturn version is Saturn version is so much smoother than the PlayStation version. I'm amazed. For a console that was so hard to program for, this is just like the bee's knees. The, 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 the big noticeable di difference is, of course, the dithering, because there's no transparency. Again, I'm not sure. Maybe David can, can clarify um, if, if, uh, if it's not capable of doing transparency of or if they couldn't program for it it's one of those i know it's, it was very hard to program for the Saturn, just like the ps3 no i do not have a crt i mean i have it in storage but i don't use it i use my big so i spent two months buying a perfect tv because you can have these games look beautiful on a large tv this is what like a 40 something inch tv the biggest one i ever had and the secret is in the scaler it's a device that takes the image and um, upscales it inside the TV. And a lot of TVs have shit scaler. But I looked for the for a for a TV. I shopped for two months, and she went with me, my love. Thank you for months trying to find a perfect TV with a perfect scaler, and I found it. I found it, and it's this. And it upscales like I, anything from the from Atari all the way to. Uh, to even like on a flat TV it looks good because it has a good scaler I never regretted that because it took a while like like I said full two months let's do this because this is scary so this is scary no no it's gonna it's gonna come after me if I when I start running right nope it's gonna come after me when I least expect it right the it it does well even without scan lines. You know how these games look weird on modern TVs and monitors? It's just the scaler. <laughs> I know, man. I know. Trust me, I know. Like, I don't think I ever died here, maybe once, but still it scares me because it's capable of insta killing you. And I'm the kind of guy who never saves. I'm like, the least amount of saves, the least amount of healing. You know, I don't know why, but wait, where's that crank thingy? Oh, it's here. Maybe I pushed it. Let's see where it opens. Do I need the square crank at all? Wait, it's not here. Fuck. I forgot. It's been a long time. I'm pretty sure it's the square crank. Nope. Nope. What am I missing? There should be a crank slot that thing yep there yeah, finally oh cool i got it in first try bravo me wait i should have used it again right <laughs> not really you can do it without it but why not <laughs> memory is a weird thing Sometimes I can't remember what I did yesterday, but I'm playing this game in Japanese with no memory. <laughs> with no, like, um, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I need to push it on this, I'm pretty sure. Push it! Come on, Cindy, push it. Whoop! I love that sound. And now we get the second Doom book, I think. Yes, Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. Not in this version. In, uh, that would have to be English. So honestly... It's not the difficulty. I don't like 
I, I prefer I like Jill more as a character. She's my favorite Resident Evil character, and uh, I love the old Chris from Mario One and Code Veronica more than the Five One. But uh, I just prefer playing with Jill. It was my first, so I played Resident Evil Three first, right? So that makes sense. Also, I picked her here because I knew who she was when I played this one after RE Three, and then. Chris with six inventory slots and the keys, oh, it's just, you know, but I will do it in English, I promise I will do it, because eventually I'm going to go for all the endings and everything, is the rock going to kill me now, come on pussy, I dare you, I double dare you, you think I'm scared of you, I am, oh, now it's going to chase me, because I get, got this far, okay, charge, but I can just duck to the right, right, No, just stand there, Jill. I like how everything is shaking except for the movable parts. And now we get the map. Yeah. Yeah, I always say Jill is the master of unlocking and she's also the master of dying faster. But in the Japanese versions... Aww. The Japanese versions, it says that Chris is hard and Jill is easy. As I said before, take that whichever way you will. But that's just suspicious the way they put it there. <laughs> I think there was a... I don't, I'm not sure if there is. Because well, like the version I played the most is the director's cut. The best version of RE1. Not the DualShock version. That's the one with crappy music. So director's cut has difficulties. And it has the Kendo custom uh, stars gun. You know the one. Oh, I don't need to bring anything because we're going to have a item box, right? Oh, yeah, I need stuff. Yeah, there's a, a custom star. Samurai Edge. Samurai Edge. That's here. Yeah, DualShock version is the one that has the analog stick. Snakes! Snakes! Not the snakes, please! Not the snakes! Uh, so the analog stick support and um, the vibration support. But man, that music, I, I, I had that game for a week, I played it, like, the first time I heard the music, I was like, I think my game's broken, this shouldn't sound like this, where's the awesome music? And uh, I traded it back for the, not for the original, for something else, I keep saying I traded it for the original, it was for something else. But then, the cranks, so, mm, uh, Magnum, not lighter nothing okay so here we go this also this yep the ammo discs are for later okay wow so much health i can't stack anymore <laughs> mm. you know what actually i won't need this for a while either No, I can just have fun. That's it, yep. That's it! We're gonna find a lot of herbs out there. I played mostly the DualShock version, which... Uh, on advanced, if you play on advanced mode, which is like hard with Jill, with Chris it's very hard. <laughs> Why does that make me giggle? Uh, okay, I'm not gonna do the snakes, guys. Like, I did it so many times, I think you're getting sick of it. So, snakes! I was like, snakes! I can't snakes! Um, the advanced mode has the custom stars that does the critical shot often. But the one I played most recently is the original PAL version with no auto aim. It was a nightmare. Oh my god, the hunters are so hard in that version. And not like Chris Hard. But yeah, Jill is the master of dying faster and Chris is the master of soaking bites. He's the bite sponge. Like you can you can chew him all you want, he'll be like, ah pff, bitch, I'm fine. Welded shut. So does anybody know where this door leads? Because I was never clear with that. Where where would it lead? Maybe back into the caves or something? It makes no sense. Like, it goes to the left. What's to the left? There's nothing there. We do know the helipad is in the middle of the mansion, like between the wings. 
Or is it? Yeah, it is. Wait. Let me see. The library. Where's the secret room? There should be... Oh, yeah. Second floor. West. Where's the library? What am I missing? Oh, yeah. The stairs. Then we go there. Then we go there. Then we go... Oh, no. It's not. I was wrong. So the helipad should be... Somewhere in the courtyard, so what we saw wasn't the eastern wing of the mansion through the window, we saw the guardhouse. So the helipad is in the middle of this somewhere. But I don't know where this door leads, it always bugged me. Finally we can get past this point. Should I take a weed? Let's take one weed. Just for good luck. Just because we can finally pass the, this point. Whee! Okay, so... So, he, this is how I know which map orientation is right. So, remember, the books say Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. Looking at the map, the mansion is oriented east to west, like this. But when you open the map, like when you open the actual map, it's no, uh, south to north. So, that means if you look at the courtyard, west is where we came from, on the left. But on this map, that would be down. So, this is the proper orientation, like how the map looks. And this one is actually 90 degrees flipped, because, um, because, oh, I'll check that. I don't know what's going on there. Because they probably couldn't fit it, like, vertically, so they flipped it 90 degrees right. Wait. Yeah, 90 degrees right. So actually it should go mansion, above it courtyard, and then more above it to the north guardhouse. Little details I liked in these games. So, first time chat from um, from the Sparky. What happened there, Sparky? Oh, there was a link. Oh, the Sparky is a bot. Well, sorry to see that, man. We don't like bots in this channel. So, let's just ignore that. Pretend it never happened. So now, we're on the west side, we're putting the Wolf of the West medal. That's the proper west. How many people care for this stuff aside from me? Imagine having coffee table here, next to the fountain. Yeah. Lovely. Open sesame. How do you fill that fountain later? <laughs> How do you do that? Like, did, did Spencer have his servants uh, bring water, like in buckets, and fill it up? Maybe that's what the welded door is for. <laughs> but once the outbreak occurred, they were like, fuck it, we'll just weld the door. And this is where GameCube would switch to disc 2. Let's hear the sound. Guys, we're gonna do this tonight. The fastest Hippotesla stream in the history of Hippotesla streams. Really? Okay, yeah. Eileen, I'm coming. I hope your back is as red as I remember it. You get the goal for applause, Kurenko. Thanks for dropping by. It's been a while. How are you? Well, I've seen you today, but it's been a while in my stream. We're playing Resident Evil 1 on the Sega Saturn. The actual console, yes, because that's how we roll. Japanese version, Biohazard on a PAL console, so slow down from 60 to 50. People are sick of hearing that, but for people who are just entering the chat, yeah. Whee! There's the XDR B1 whatever. And the Tyrant door. There's a thing on the right, and when we read the plaque, emergency exit will not open unless under first class emergency. Oh, yeah, I've been streaming earlier recently because, I don't know, because of sleep and everything, but I'm okay. I felt like shit yesterday. Uh, I don't know if it's COVID or what, my uh, throat, I had fever, my throat scratchy, The uh, I have rash, I have a thing on my eye, you can't see it thankfully, but it hurts like shit when I, if I blink too hard. Uh, yeah, as funny as it sounds. But other than that, I'm super, like, today I'm feeling so much better, considering I slept only four hours. I had an afternoon nap, and that helped tremendously. So I didn't shut up for 
almost three hours now so i'm good yeah <laughs> how are you what's going on that it was nice hearing your voice today and uh in gamut stream i was like i know that voice but it's been months and i i can't remember who that is uh, come back here sir i want to take your head yeah that head I hear you, man. I'll never get sick of that. Wait, we need to reload? One more. One more sexy shot for a sexy zombie. Oh, there's no third zombie here? Pretty sure there's a third zombie here in the PlayStation version. Here we go, the third new disc. Electronically lo locked, right? So here's something I never noticed in 20 years until the like two weeks ago when I tried that disc that wouldn't load on my PS2. I tried it on the backup PS2. I was like, huh, I've never seen this before in my 50 playthroughs. That's good. That's life. I support that. That's what I do. I didn't have so I worked a lot in the since October since we moved. I don't know what you know, what you don't know. I'm not gonna bore you, but uh, I worked like hell because we're buying a house without money, so we can't get a loan. So we literally have to work a lot to pay it off. And then the last week I didn't have much work, so I just went wild with streams. Do I bring the discs or not yet? Fuck it, I'm not even gonna carry this. Or, yeah, let's bring one for good luck. For good measure. Do I bring the discs, guys? I can't remember. Anybody? Tips, please? Joseph! Welcome to the stream. How are you? Ah, so good to see you. Saturn, bro. Saturn. Actual Sega Saturn. You missed the ticks. There are exclusive enemies ticks here. And they were scary. They're fucking scary. So, do I bring the discs? I forgot. I haven't been in this part in like three, four years. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna bring them, the Mero Discs, what else do we need here, no other puzzle items. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by man, really just like, just, just I want to show off the Saturn, that's, that's, that's the thing, so happy to play it on this. You had a Saturn, of course you had a Saturn, oh that's wonderful, then you know what I'm talking about. This ver version is so smooth. So it's the Japanese biohazard version, uh, played on a European PAL Saturn, and it's slowed down from 50 to 60, we're using an action replay card to boot it, and still it's smoother than the PlayStation version, it's crazy man, it's just, you can see it, like this is the slowed down version of the game. So smooth. It does have auto aim, unlike the, the one I played last time, so it makes it so much easier. Man! Where's your Saturn? I hope it's somewhere in storage, waiting for better days. Oh, fuck the US Saturn. Not, not fuck the US Saturn, but I mean, fuck, yeah. comma. Pale heads, oh my god, the pale heads, here we go, the pale... Sir, I'm... You blind fuck, I'm here. Yeah. Let's go here. They will keep coming, like they will keep respawning. I guess that the point is they regenerate. I love... That, that's the one concept in RE3 Remake they did justice to pale heads. So, where do I put the modisks? It's somewhere here. I need to release Creasy. I think I need to unlock the door first or something. We'll see. I forgot this part. No! Oh my god, if I had known David, then I would have given a kidney for that console, man. We're looking for a lot of US consoles because they're hard to find here. So like any retro US stuff, we gotta we gotta get that shit. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. I think David just died if he's still in the stream. Yeah, you guys have retro game stores. They have them in the Oh, first mention of Ada Wong. Here that's here. Somewhere. God knows. So there's password. Uh, it's XM. Uh, let's call it blah the blee and the M. XM blah blee M. 
I don't know. I, I can't read. I can't read. Yeah, I'm gonna. Here we go. John Ada. It's in English. Ada. A D A. Ada. Wait, is this pushable? I remember it. Yeah, because there's a secret switch there. I played remake way more recently, so it's really hard to remember some of the puzzles. <laughs> you didn't die from that info, David, did you? So yeah. So we gotta remember. So it was M XM. Oh, I, I see now. Man, apple, woman, and tree. So even without it, we could solve it. But let's do it. Press the ultraviolet button. Whoa! So uh, it said, "Fuck! I need the other thing." Because I know what it says. I don't need the ultraviolet button. What was the password? It was something silly. The remake has me all mixed up with the puzzles, honestly. Uh, it was the M, so tree. Wait, let's look at that file again. File. Oh, fuck if I know which file that was. <laughs> Maybe this one? <laughs> oh, Sasha just did that, guys. It wasn't me, it was Sasha. Oh, I'm so proud. Is this it? No, this is the Plant 42 report. Oh, no, the, here we go. So the XM, the I want to pee symbol. It looks like someone holding their bladder. So XM, P, the harpoon, and M. XM, P, harpoon, M. XM, P, harpoon, M. XM is M. I want to pee is O. So P, right? No. M O mole. It's mole, right? Let's see. Uh, 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 harpoon is apple. Yep, and yep, mole. Molly, 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 molly. And that's because that is that foreshadowing for Ada being a mole. Because John didn't know that. I think they wanted to do more with Ada in Resident Evil One, but they left it for RE Two. Holy shit, which door now? <gasps> There's the ammo disc slot. I'm glad I brought those. Let's go save Chrissy. Chrissy! What do you mean you can't use it? But what am I missing? It needs power or something? Probably needs power. Well, the language barrier is making it harder. So that's where Chrissy is hiding. Chrissy! What is wrong with the... Ah, I need to turn on the power, which needs... Means I need to face chimeras. The the B.O.W. that's made by mixing the human and uh, fly DNA. One of the most bizarre creatures they never repeated. Oh, look! He didn't respawn. I've been lied to. And I didn't reload. One, two, three. Which makes no sense. Oh, guys! I can do a twofer. Wow, one head pop and one actually died. Huh. So what was the point of this? I can't remember. That's locked for now. That's the power room. I need to do something. Sir? That's what I thought. Maybe they don't respawn if you take their heads off. The Remington will take its head off. Ah! Blood. Oh yeah, it's very uncensored this version. The intro is so bloody, like not the not the thing we got in the vest. There's blood, pieces of heads, shit, like all the stuff. All the stuff, Morty, yeah. Yeah, okay. I can always smoke the weed. It is, man, cuz <laughs> cuz uh Oh here we go, the umbrella OS. Look at this computer! If any system booted this fast in the 90s, this would be a different world. Like, it took five minutes to boot your computer in real time, in real life, and real time. It's umbrella branded computer with umbrella branded monitor, umbrella branded keyboard, and umbrella branded uh, OS. Did you freeze? No. Please don't freeze. Don't freeze. I think it froze. Damn it. Oh yeah, music is MIDI, it's already in the RAM. 
I'm gonna check if the disc spins. Give me two minutes, guys. Don't go anywhere. I'm just gonna see. We did save semi recently, so I can do this part very fast. Well, that's sad the way it froze. I tried flipping it sideways, up, down. <laughs> I tried everything. I tried tapping it. Maybe it could be the action replay. I'm not sure. But uh, I just pressed uh, A, B, C and start to reset it. Like, avoid losing time. We're going to be there in a second. So from this point, I'm going to save abnormally. Like, I'm going to save every chance I get just to be sh make sure that I finish the game tonight so close to the end we we can't stop here man we can't stop here horror <laughs> in the name of Segata Sanshiro <laughs> was that a thing in Europe though I'm not sure okay we're very close thanks for that save a reminder David that was very useful so let's do this as fast as we can. I just need one crank. Don't need the other one. Whee! Any any free slot will do. Any free slot will do, like this slot. Mm, I can drop this as well, or just use it. I can drop these. Yeah, I thought they were. Oh, they were. I'm not sure. I thought it was a Japanese thing, huh? So, uh, wherever. Let's not OCD this. I'm trying hard. What else do I need? I just need that. I'm gonna need ammo discs later. Way later. Uh, that. This crank. Shotgun. And bazooka for good measure. Even though I won't really need it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this fast. Joseph! It's your fault. I'm doing this. <laughs> so close it's always about this point like on on all cd consoles that uh it tends to freeze because snakes because it has it's the end of the disc where the disc wobbles mostly and it's hard for the laser to read it's wonderful that it even works because this saturn didn't work david and i thought we'd have to do a lot of work like for the last when did we do this 20 it was 2015? 2017, I think? I'll need the other crank, will I? Oh no, it's this one. Yeah, it's weird. Because I can hear what the... Um, it was, it was, that's true. I can hear the laser, the the laser moving around. That's how I know like what it works well. But it froze at the beginning of the stream when I tried to load the game by not moving the laser at all. So it could be like it runs into a bad sector or bad read, or it could be the action replay doing something. I'm not sure. But very inexperienced with Saturn, so um, that's why cartridges, man. That's why I have RE2 uh, for the N64 and not. The PlayStation 2 because it never froze, it never fucked up, and it looks way better on the N64. Whatever people tell you, the the, the cutscenes, like the FMV cutscenes, look like <laughs> look worse, but it has surround sound. It has uh, it, it looks a lot better. It has higher resolution. It has bonus files which tie it in with Resident Evil Zero and Resident Evil Three. So yeah, and that was. Thanks to Sasha, she bought it to me for birthday. Actually, it was a combined effort. She organized my family and uh, what do you mean sound chip? What did I say? What did I say? So let's do this bit now. Do -do 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 All right, that was faster. On the Saturn? It's 
Sound chip is amazing, that's true, about the sound. Yeah. Also, you weren't there when I was saying, so yesterday when I finished stream, because I wasn't feeling good, I left the console just running while I was tidying up. And then I got up and I looked, because this is a Model 2 Saturn, so it has like a little window, you can see if the disc is spinning. The disc was not spinning, I was like, it has a spin down? PlayStation 1 didn't have that, PlayStation 2 didn't have that, and uh, I was blown away. But then, it doesn't end there. I'm not sure if it's the action replay, which also dubs as the RAM expansion card, or it's just like Saturn has more RAM in general. I walked around the room I was in, you know, when the screens change like this, the di disc didn't spin up because the entire room was in Saturn's memory, which isn't a thing on PlayStation. So I commented how it's faster, like, obviously the screen, tr screen transitions are faster here than on the PlayStation. On PlayStation, you move, you get to a screen transition, they freeze for like a second, then they continue running. There's none of that here, because it loads the full room. Although the door snake, the door loadings are a little bit longer than on the PlayStation, but now we know why, because it loads a lot more data. So Capcom really tried hard to program this well for that Saturn. Come on. Yeah, it was. Just like the GameCube and Xbox were better than uh, the PlayStation 2, but it's always like... PlayStation 1, the image. It's the masses, man. It's always the masses. It's not about what's better in this world. It's about what, you know, more people want. It's just how it is. Where do we get the... Oh, uh, yeah, we got the second one. We can drop this. We can even drop this, I'm gonna say. It was. GameCube and the Xbox. Not sure which one is better. They were very similar. GameCube went with the power PC architecture. Uh, Xbox went with, I think, also power PC. I'm not sure. But they were both superior to the PlayStation. You can see that in the games that were multi-platform, like uh, playing remake first. Oh, oh yeah, I know what you mean. Even now, it looks amazing. Like, that game didn't age at all, the remake on the GameCube. Is she claiming you? My Sasha. Snakes, 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 please, not the snakes, not the snakes, anything but the fucking snakes. Yeah, so like, for instance, Fahrenheit, uh, or Indigo Prophecy as it's known in the US, I played it on Xbox first, and then I got the PS2 version, and I was like, this is shit, man, this is just like, it's so blurry, there's no widescreen, the console is obviously struggling with the game, and my friend actually suggested the PS2 version first, but I got the Xbox version, because I couldn't find the other one, so... Once I, you know, once I saw that, I was like, I'm good with the Xbox version, so I gifted the, the PS2 version to my friend who never played Fahrenheit, Mihailo, and uh, I wonder if he ever played it, because it's a damn good game, man, which unfortunately is banned on Twitch, that really, so listen to this, <laughs> listen to this, Fahrenheit in Europe, it has a scene of a boob, polygonal xbox boob and a scene of um there's a scene of a vagina that's like more censored than the barbie doll vagina it's banned on twitch because of that indigo prophecy american version which is censored it's not banned on twitch it's okay the recent remaster fahrenheit colon indigo prophecy which was released uh, a year ago exactly i think based on the european version with the uncensored boob and the vagina is okay on twitch so like what the fuck happened there man with its flags what do you mean the flags the badalamenti osdl you missed that you missed that i didn't know it was uh, i shouldn't stream that on twitch and it was like holy shit then YouTube actually told me, you gotta make this 18 plus, why? So we have blood, guts, gore, pff, that's okay, but boob, no, hide the boob, no boobs. 
It's just how the American rating system works. And I found I found out recently it's because way back in the 50s, uh, when European f movies, which were way more lewd, uh, flooded the American market, uh, they were like, holy shit, that's too much nudity for our children. So they made up the whole um, rating system. And here we are now, stuck. It is. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. It's not a perfect game, but it's still a damn good game. Sasha and I adore Fahrenheit. We play it every New Year's along with The Sims for the PlayStation 2, which we play in co-op. And uh, we recently streamed both. And uh, it's like it never gets old. I love that game. Like a lot of people don't. And they have something to say about David Cage. I don't mind whatever he does, man. He made a mean game. So how do we do this? We gotta find a safe point before accessing the computer. Fuck, can we even do that? Oh, Let's pray to all the gods. Because there's no typewriter here, right? It would be nice to see a typewriter. <coughs> I think the first save room is... Once we unlock the power room, for which we need the PC, which just froze. Oh wait, this is the bazooka. My bad, sorry, didn't want to burn you. I wanted to decapitate you. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Help! There's another Mo disc. The Mo disc. Mo disc. Let's not take it yet. I'll take it later. Uh, here we put the slides in the visual data room. Electronically locked. Yep. Uh, but I can't remember. The save room is thus. I know there's one when we get the power key. Definitely. But I feel like there should be one more save room somewhere. I'm gonna look for it. To try to save before accessing the computer. I mean, these technical difficulties are expected when you stream from gen genuine hardware, but that's a small price to pay, in my opinion, for playing on an actual console. Let's get all these zombies, see what happens. How did I do that last time? Doofer. So this is also, I think, electronically locked. This is the power room. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Fuck you, sir. That's that's on me for forgetting to reload. Wait, is it missing a zombie? Huh? Yeah, it is. You understand. So let's get the... Uh, I don't even need the password. I need to turn on the power in order to be able to use the MO discs. It's hard when you don't understand the language and you forgot. Oh yeah, I never went into this door. What if this is the save room? <coughs> Pardon me. My throat. I should probably drink something. No, this is the room we were in. Okay. John ate a letter. Also, the Saturn has all these files, like different images, not just books, like in the like in the PlayStation version, which blows my mind. I really like that shit. Every file has different image. I, they don't numb you in the first Resident Evil. They slurp. They go like. <laughs> like they sound like vampires. Make it blue. This is the blues room. Uh huh. Okay, run, run, run. Man, Yoda, I miss you, man. It's been like I forgot since, since I think the last time I saw you was before I moved, like before September. Now that one's locked as well. That one's mode disc. -ed. Mo disc the or maybe I have to insert MO discs. I know in the remake you insert them into those game cubes. I'm not sure how it goes here. 
We'll find it, wherever it is. So some of them will respawn, okay. Like this guy. Good to know, good to know. Oh, wow. Good thing I have the herb. Okay, pray for me. Yeah, I met you and John at the same time. You were the first two guys who started dropping by my channel when I started streaming Outbreak. So, uh, it's a big deal for me. There's the slide, but to unlock the room, we do need the computer. And that's sad. Slide cartridge. I guess this is a medical room of sorts. There's nothing here. This mud. This is where the where the micro hunters were kept, right? Like end of the road, huh? Huh? Zombie, are you still there? Are you alive? And why is there so much nuclear material here? Okay, let's hope. Silence. definitely has the issue with reading that part maybe the laser head can't move or something so close god damn it always on stream with resident evil 1 it gets to the end at least we got further than with xbox with playstation i could give it another go i'm willing to give it another go because we need this to progress you can't i know it didn't freeze completely because i can reset yeah, still going. Yeah, I'll try that, actually. I will try that. I'll take a five-minute break and uh, try cleaning the disc. Because I know I can press ABC and start, and it'll reset the console. So it's not frozen. It just has trouble accessing the sector, probably. <sighs> so close, so close. It would be a shame to leave this for another stream. But yeah, I'll try. So guys, uh, if you have the patience, uh, hang in there. I'm just going to take a five-minute break to sort this out. We'll try to finish it tonight. I promised my friend Zombie. We'll be back in about five. Okay, so you should be able to hear me. Hold on a minute. Uh, I do see a smidge, a smudge on the disc, like from greasy hands, probably. And I found a piece of paper in the Saturn, <laughs> in the disc drive. So uh, I'm going to clean the disc with alcohol now, gently. And we'll try again. We're not giving up yet. Hang tight there, guys. Well, why shouldn't I why shouldn't I share this part as well? Make the stream more interesting. So here we go. Yes, we still have the Christmas slide behind because Serbian New Year was just a few years ago. A few years, a few days ago, and Sasha wait, I already got one. Sasha really wanted to keep uh the lights on <laughs> still, so we kept them. There's the um so I'm using the cotton like pads, whatever you call these, with uh, yeah, <laughs> right. All my like all my life is like the '90s. A little rubbing alcohol and a, vo a vodka bottle. <laughs> so this is, I think, the 98% stuff. I think, or maybe it's the 70%. So I'm gonna just clean the disc. Here we go. I can show the disc because it's usually in the drive. Uh, let me just turn off the green screen, the webcam, Logitech, not internal, and then fill, oh, I need filters, that's right, filters, and I need to turn off the green screen effect, mm, filters, 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 edit filters, color key, turn it off, there we go, normal camera, so now you should be able to see it properly. Whoop, it's mirrored. So there we go. Biohazard. And it it was greasy, so I'm gonna go uh, through it with the rubbing alcohol. Thanks to David. He's really, really um what's the word? Not stubborn, but like uh, very, very determined. To get all the Sega stuff. And he's got our full support. 
So let's rub both sides. Now there's a myth about discs that a lot of people like myth or whatever secret. Uh, a lot of people don't know about. It is dirty, though we cleaned it yesterday when he brought it. It's probably an old disc. It's not scratched or anything. It's just old. So I'm going to rub it like harder. This could mean something different. <laughs> Chris is hard. Uh, Jill is easy. And Tesla is rubbing it. <laughs> so. Then rub it against cotton gently. Oh wow, that's maybe I should use the hundred percent, ninety-eight percent alcohol. I'm pretty sure this is the last of the seventy percent because when COVID started, there was a shortage of uh, rubbing alcohol, and it's one of my main tools for game discs, for cartridges, for like I work with electronics. I'm a I'm a tech geek, so like I need alcohol all the time to clean stuff. It's the best cleaning solvent. So yeah. So it's not scratched, it's barely like, I don't know if you can see it on the cam, I'll try. It's barely, yeah, you can see the, the laptop screen in it. It's so clean. But, oh, can we make an infinite window? We should be able to make an infinite window with the disc. Now this stream has gone off the rails, but that's the beauty. Look at that, infinite window. Ah! <laughs> um, it's not scratched, it's, it's like, it's got... It's a very well preserved disc. It's got a little what is it called? Like it's not even wear and tear, just slight little things. But it could be the grease spot that was, you know, that was hard for the laser to read. Now the second thing I'll do is I'm gonna go over to the Saturn and clean clean the laser lens again, just to be safe. Let me see what it's like. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, there's nothing on it. So the secret is th this side, the side where the laser reads, it's it doesn't read this side. This is more like a protective glass. All the data is on this side, well, on the other side of this foil. So scratching this will destroy the disc. Scratching this is not as bad. It will mostly like laser will need to focus more, but scratching this side, you actually sorry, this side, you actually scratch off the data and then the disc is dead. There's no like there's no coming back from that. So let's try that again. Yeah, that's pretty clean. I mean it's it's as clean as a baby's bottom. Smooth as a baby's bottom, I guess. That's the expression. Yep. Okay, let's try. Yeah, there's nothing on this disc. Like, literally, it's one of the most preserved discs I've ever handled. And considering how old it is, that's really a, a feat. Yeah. Okay. So... Let me bring that filter back on because we're going to need it. Yep. It depends on the lighting, so it only works when I'm like here. <laughs> That's what it was calibrated for. So I'm going to try again. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to try. I'm actually going to try loading the. Oh, yeah, we're in the Saturn BIOS now. In case you've never seen, like for people who haven't seen it, <laughs> it's in space because we've seen the action replay BIOS actually, the loads. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back with, uh, I'm going to clean, clean the lens and let's hope it works. Pray to all your deities. <laughs> thanks thanks yoda yeah okay so we're in action replay now while i'm here just to be safe i'm gonna copy the save over 
So delete the old ones. Uh, what's the delete button? Z, biodata and biodata. Okay. And then copy these over with the C button. This and this. That's right. And then press B to exit. That should save it. Yeah. Too bad the game can't access the um, the action replay card as a rank card. But David and I are working on getting the actual expansion cards and uh, and the uh, and the backup RAM. Uh, we hope we get that as soon as possible. They were never released in Europe. I didn't know. He told me that yesterday. So uh, we're gonna have to get a U.S. or Japanese version. I'm not even sure the US got all the accessories because the Saturn was really short-lived unfortunately. Very bad business decisions on Sega's part with the uh, 32X and like CD 32X all that stuff. Biohazard. Did you just love it? There was bio space hazard. I don't know why I'm blown away by that. Because I've always known it. Like the, the first Japanese Resident Evil I played was Survivor. Or what it's called in Japan and US. Gun Survivor. It was biohazard gun survivor. One word as far as I remember. There's a tricky thing with uh, Saturn Lens. Because it's tucked away behind the disk drive door. And uh, it's hard... Like, it's very hard to access it, to clean it. Put away the alcohol, don't set anything on fire. Put away the pads, don't forget to turn the cam on. Oh, love, chips, yes, thank you. Can I crunch in the stream? Is that polite? Not really. <laughs> it's not polite, but you go ahead. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Okay, take three. Third time's the charm. We need only the second crank. Anything, there is nothing. We don't need these, these for now. I'm gonna drop the herb as well. Instead of that, bring what? The metal. So we don't have to come back here. And I'm gonna make another save. In case I need to do this again. Or or not because there's no point okay we don't need anything else right just the crank the metal and the bazooka for good luck come on game we want to finish you tonight we get came this far hold on i don't want to i don't want to soak the hair in i hope the crunching is not loud snakes they want to eat my chips Mmm, barbecue flavor. Oh, my favorite. What do we find there? I forgot. Let's go, let's go. We gotta do this. It's almost midnight. Oh shit, it's almost midnight. That's right. Another alarm for the IP switch in 12 minutes. So, another alarm at 00. zero. Well, 2359 actually. Call it IP switch. Yep, yep, yep. Just so, just so I can pause the stream when it happens. Here. Man, I remember when I started streaming on Mixer. I was acting like it's a studio thing. So I would buy, like be careful. Remember that when I was like when I had a stick up my ass <laughs> when the when the first time Resident Evil One froze, I, I froze. I was like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> what was I thinking? This should be a relaxed thing. That that hit the spot. Thank you. No, it's okay. It's okay. Just enough salt that I needed. Just to make up for everything I lost. <laughs> like, talking so much. Yeah, but I was like, you know, people will come to see me play. I didn't know. I just, like, went into streaming because I wanted to share these things. And then I would be like, 
no sneezing, coughing, uh, eating anything on the stream. But now it's, you know, I just feel... I shouldn't interrupt the stream because I'm hungry. I can turn off the camera and mic if it's too loud, you know, and keep playing. I can do that. It should be like I'm playing at home with my friends, which is how I feel now. And that's amazing. I love that. And back then I never thought I would stream on Twitch because Mixer had some features that I loved. And I was planning to do some co-streams. Mixer had a co-stream where you could see both screens of people like... Imagine you and I are playing Outbreak or four of us are playing. You could see in one stream all four screens. We could make that happen. On Twitch it's a thing that's only for partners I think. And still it's not as good as Mixer's. I do miss Mixer. That's it. Was that... I saw a square. Yeah, right. Of course, I'm not gonna walk around in underwear or, or whatever. But, ah, oh, fuck. But, yeah, it should be a more relaxed stream. And it's John, actually, who helped me see this. Because he's like, you know, John has kids and everything. And you can't really tell the kids, like, Shh, for two hours, three, four, five, sometimes he streams. So, yeah, it's... We're humans, I, it's normal. And I'm glad that I'm more free now with that. But also, you know, not uncultured swine. John is amazing. He's not here tonight. He, uh, I don't know if you know, his whole, whole family got the COVID. His son is not really good. So I hope they're, they, they get well soon. He will be missed. He should stream some Yakuza tonight. Well tomorrow morning our time you're only i think one hour behind me it's uh it's 10 52 there right i think spain is one hour that's like the uk time so straight up <laughs> yesterday right because I missed, well, I lurked yesterday because David came and we were setting this up. But I watched the previous stream. I heard a lot about Yakuza. I never saw it and I liked what I saw. I love the Saints Row games. And Yakuza seems like Saints Row on steroids. Too bad it's not co-op though. That would make it even more badass. Oh, jeez, man. You should be sleeping already then. Early morning tells me like you get up at 5, 6. <laughs> so wolf of the west and then eagle of the east. Let's go the other way. Maybe this time it works. So let's right, run straight to the computer room and see if it works. Yeah, I can hear the laser. If not, well, we'll get the PAL version in two weeks. We'd, we got as far as we could, and that's okay. I could maybe finish it on an emulator, but what's the point, you know? Nothing we didn't see. This is more like for love than actually... I don't know. Well, there should be some differences uh with the tyrant and there's also a different tyrant i saw that yesterday when we were comparing like we we're looking at the differences on the gaming wiki uh in the battle mode stuff like that yeah well the the, the second disc was only golden tyrant that's right the second disc was only on the gamecube because of that pathetic two something gigabyte it's not pathetic it was a like at the time it seemed like a right idea but back to our previous uh conversation uh, PlayStation 2 won mostly because of that DVD player. Coins? What coins? <laughs> yes, pussy? What is it, pussy? She's not, a, she's not amused. Let's keep one of these and... Attack this, and what else do I said I need? Nothing else. That's it. Okay. Come on, game. 
you can do it why would it freeze loading the computer thing that's what if I knew where physically in the disk that data is oh I see I, I thought it was just a like a dead pixel or something again <laughs> grip the shotgun poor guy he got burned twice he didn't do anything okay that was cool tit for tat literally <laughs> Yeah, I saw. Yep, that's it. Yeah, I thought that was like just a weird pixel. Didn't say anything about it. Okay, okay. Nice. Encouraged. Completely encouraged. Haha, <laughs> puking all over. Why do they puke here, though? Oh, yeah. Because somebody told me they puked on the stairs in the old games because they couldn't program them to attack you properly on the stairs. But sometimes they'll also puke, you know, outside of stairs. Oh wow, we didn't get a two for this time. Oh fuck, that was my fault. Two heads off! Huh. Worth it! And I'm just yellow fine. I can smoke all the weed now, I don't care. So where is the room over here? Sir, you're in my way. They are! They're called pale heads. I was just saying earlier, they reintroduced them in Resident Evil 3 Remake. And I'm glad that's one of my favorite things in RE3 Remake. Okay, hold your breaths. The Pale Heads. They are... There's, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't played it, but... Uh, come on. It's loading this time. I heard it. Come on. Yeah, obviously can't load that sector. Maybe the laser can't physically go there. We said we should grease it up. Well, damn it. We tried. We tried. So close, but I'm still... It's okay with me. Sorry, zombie. It's not me. It's the game. Look how long I stayed here. Four hours. If I manage to do it, like, uh, randomly, I will just randomly stream this part. But, like I said, we're getting the European version in a few days. Um... What else? This has been a blast. I love it. Too bad we couldn't finish it. We will though, eventually. Still more work to do to do in these Saturns. Yeah, it moved, but then it just, it's trying to read it. You can see because the disc is spinning and uh, there's no like laser movement. So it's probably trying to focus on that point. It's probably somewhere at the end, at the edge of the disc, where as it wobbles, like this is the disc and laser goes beneath it let's say from the middle over here it's like easy to because the wobble is not as hard but at the very end it goes like this and then the laser tries to follow and it's easy to uh, to to lose the focus but yeah thank you so much everyone who was here and supported this it's been a blast the last two days uh, Saturn we're gonna have we have more Saturn streams, okay, so we have I'm com coming. Good IP I hope switch in a minute. So it's a good thing as I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see who we can raid. Because uh, the stream is gonna cut out. You know my sign off. I'm not gonna bore you with all that. Let's quickly raid before the IP switches. Who is online? My friend Rock is streaming Resistance. Why not? Here we go. Check out Rock in 10 seconds. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow in a new stream. We'll see what we'll stream. There are going to be Doom. There's going to be uh, Command and Conquer for the Saturn. A lot of things. I got to speak qu quickly because this is ending. Thank you. I love you all. See you next time. And now we raid.
Okay, I think we are. Yep, we're on the rock. That's it. Bye.